Rogan. What's Joe up? Rogan what's sitting up? What's in up? today. What's up? What's happening, man? I'm sorry I'm late, but uh, I had a... What's that, dude? Oh, cool. I, had a, I, I wrote a tirade about Carlos Mencia on my website this morning. Oh, I was, uh, I was I reading that. I stayed up all night. I stayed up all night. I, I got to my hotel room at like, uh, I don't know, like... Five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, shit, let me just like sleep for like an hour. And I'm like, fuck, I got to write this. So I sat down at like five <laughs> o'clock in the morning. I had a Red Bull. This was like number three. This you wrote that this pot morning? Lollipop. Wait, what is that lollipop? It's a pot lollipop. Pot lollipop. Are you kidding? No, no, I'm not kidding. What? what does yeah. it get you fucked up? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you, if you don't smoke pot, this will put you on fucking Pluto. <laughs> You'll be like pinned to Pluto, <laughs> spinning around in space. This, this is going to be the best show of the week. <laughs> it is 7.17, and I am guaranteeing this is the best radio this is show the, of the week. This is why, this is this is why I stayed up. Right I got an email the other day from this guy in Tucson. <laughs> she was up with a Red Bull and a pot lollipop. Yeah, fuck it, bitch. I guess we just got to roll. Clear the phone lines. Joe Rogan's got some shit to get off his... Uh... All right, so this is what happened. Go I ahead. get this email the other day from this guy who's a radio DJ in Tucson. Ouch. Who says that Carlos Mencia was talking shit about me on the radio? Do I want to listen to it? I say okay. So he sends me the audio file, mm -hmm. and it's Carlos basically saying that um, he uh, came to the comedy store and that he went on after me, and that uh, everyone in the comedy store calls him the Punisher. Like he's completely out of his fucking mind, and that uh, <laughs> the only reason why everybody says he steals jokes is because they're jealous. Which is insane, because have you ever heard anybody saying that Chris Rock steals jokes or Dave Chappelle steals jokes? No, but they're more jealous of Carlos Mencia than Chris Rock. All right, <laughs> here's the, the problem with this guy. He lives in such a shallow glass house. Carlos Mencia claims to be Mexican. His name isn't even really Carlos Mencia. That's a fake name. His real ethnicity is he's half German and half Honduran. And his real name is Ned Holness. This is real. Wow. This is all real. Mitzi Shore invented that. the name Carlos Mencia to ingratiate him with the Latino community of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So this fucking his retard. Name is Ned? Yeah, his name is Ned. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's got a fake name. I mean, this guy's so fucking stupid. His whole reason, his whole reasoning for why people call him a thief is that they're jealous. They're jealous of him. This fake fucking Mexican living this fake life, stealing people's material. All right, so what he says is basically that... I got the audio, by the way, if you want to go through it. What, him on stage? Yeah, no. Oh, him. The, of the show? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. You want to do that or what? It's short We clips. can. Sure, sure, we can go on. Just but what's even better is what I did is I put the audio on my website, and I, have a, I hired a personal cameraman. So my cameraman happened to be there the day Carlos claims that I was watching him from the stage, and instead what we have is me on stage and him watching me. Pacing around the room, watching me. He, the guy imitates everyone, including me, all the time. He steals from everyone, whether it's George Lopez or Paul Mooney or old Richard Pryor albums. The guy's a fucking idiot. And all he does is rehash old, other people's shit or rewrite other people's shit. You know, you do a joke about going to the fucking zoo, whatever it is. And right. if it kills, he'll do a joke about going to the zoo and just rewrite your shit. He's a weak-minded fucking simpleton, and he doesn't know that people know he's a weak-minded simpleton. Wouldn't it be great to be able to get, like hear this shit and then go like, Fucking Rogan, I'm gonna kick his ass. But Rogan's such a fucking animal. You can't. You can't kick his ass. <laughs> well, I mean, why would you want to kick my ass? Because I'm telling the truth. That's well, the crazy well, thing. I'm not running around saying that great comedians are shitheads. I love comedy, and there's the whole point. The thing that I wrote on my website, JoeRogan.net. The whole thing I wrote this morning at five o'clock in the morning with no sleep is that I'm a huge fan of comedy to this day. Still am. Always will be. You know, if I'm at the comedy store and Chris Rock shows up, dude, I'm the first person who wants to sit down. I want to watch great comedy. I love yeah. it. I love somebody who's got a unique point of view. I love somebody who comes up with some new shit that they crafted. I know this guy sat down on his computer and wrote this all out and tried it on stage in 15 different comedy clubs and, and then boom, there it is. You're like, whoa. Like I remember when Rock was at the, uh, the comedy store and he was working out his Oscar shit. Dude, like me and like 10 other guys sat in the back of the room fucking howling, loving it. Love comedy. Hate fucking thieves. That's all it is. I hate fucking thieves. Does it fucking infuriate you? I know the kind. Of, I don't know Ned. <laughs> Just call him the phony Mexican or Carlos Menstilia. That's but what we what, call what him. He's what, what he's talking about, like the most brutal thief, isn't the guy who just takes your whole joke. 
It's almost like mad libs. Like they'll just like say he's saying you go to the zoo and you got a bit about a gorilla. He makes it an orangutan. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. He was taking Dane a Cook shit. did that to he me. He was taking a dump. Dane blah, Cook blah, blah, did blah. that to me. He did it on Premium Blend. He did my joke about fucking tigers. He did it with rhinos. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> fucking genius. <laughs> you know, there's so much of that shit going on. It's fucking insane. It happens in radio all the time, too. Of course it does. Yeah. But the new thing in radio is like, ah, everyone steals from everyone, so it's okay. Fuck that it is. You know, I love when accepted. you guys do something, you credit people. That's that's the way to do it. And that, that other douchebag that was, you know, doing your shit on Channel 152 that you guys were torturing for a few oh, days. Jim oh, Jim Phillips? Yeah, yeah that How fucking good? idiot. That was, that awesome. was, that was fun, was wasn't beautiful. it? Ass. <laughs> that was one ass. of the last shows I listened to before I got a new car and I, I have to get X7 in my new Joe, car. Joe, you ever have somebody come up to you, right? You just did your set, you killed, some bitch just killed and somebody comes up to you and is like, yeah, you know, I used to do some shit like yeah. that. And you know they're oh. lying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to do a bit like that. But it's a little different. You don't have to worry about it. You can just still do it. You can still oh, do it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they give you permission. Uh, uh, Weak-minded cocksucker. You, know, you know what the best one I ever got? I had a guy actually say, you know what? I was thinking of doing some shit like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's even, funny. It's just like, you. what, after I said it? And then, <laughs> coincidentally, they bring back their old material that they it's never so did brutal. in the first place because they now set it up and by which, saying that... Uh, they used to do that material. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> and what's really brutal is comedy clubs don't do anything about it, man. I mean, it's just the most frustrating thing in the world for a comic to know that your art, what you do, what you put out, is supporting this club, keeping it together. But these people like fucking cannibals, and they they hire these scumbags, these fucking thieves. These just fucking simpleton cocksuckers who can't come up with anything. These weak-minded motherfuckers who just just <laughs> rehash your shit. And these comedy clubs hire them, and they expect you to all work it out. They expect... I've, ha I've actually heard that argument. Hey, you guys got to work that out with yourself. You fucking... No! He's a thief! You fucking know! No one calls someone a thief that's not a thief. There's not one person I've ever heard called a thief that's not a thief. <laughs> Have you? Have you ever heard one person called a thief that's not a thief? It doesn't exist! There's thieves and there's regular comedians, but those thieves, they fucking make it through. They sneak through the net somehow or another because the comics don't do anything about it, because the club owners don't do anything about it. These motherfuckers, they swim upstream and they make it. Yeah. And they have millions of dollars and they're driving fucking fancy cars. And everybody goes, well, you're just fucking jealous. And you're just sitting there going, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Is this for real? Is this for real? I guess in comedy, it's just completely accepted. It's not. These people are no. fucking pussies. They're afraid. They're afraid of conflict. They're it's afraid less, of standing up. It's less accepted in comedy than uh, radio, definitely. Because these guys are always bitching behind the scenes. Yeah, but they're bitching behind the scenes. But then, like you said, the comedy clubs d don't do anything. Well, well, yeah, the comedy clubs, the comic is probably the last priority in the comedy club. <laughs> like, it's just get some someone in there that's going to make these people fucking pay, right? and that's pretty much their priority. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they don't care about the comics or the fucking, like, they're supposed <sighs> to be some kind of ethics or some kind of, you know, you guys are supposed to work things out. Yeah, we're supposed How to many asses out. are in the seats? How many asses yes, are you putting in it. those seats? That's it. How many asses are in the seats? Well, let's seat? play this audio, because now sure, everyone is very sure, interested sure. in what Carlos Mencia had to and say. And you can go to my website. It's all up. Along with uh, the video that my cameraman got of Carlos watching me in the back of the room, all that shit. And if you ask nicely, wow. he'll tell you how to get the uh, the pot lollipops. You got to get a uh, prescription. <laughs> a prescription. Yeah, I have a prescription. Are for you medical shitting marijuana. me? They no. are prescription lollipops. I went lollipops. to a doctor. I said I have headaches. He said, "When do you have headaches?" I said, "Whenever I think about the fact that pot's illegal." <laughs> and they just fucking write you out a piece of paper, <laughs> and you go to a cannabis club, and you can buy weed. And a cannabis have, club? Dude, I have pot soda. I have pot lollipops. <laughs> if you just were locked in my house, you could get high for six months. You would never have to leave. Where <laughs> I've never seen those at a pharmacy, though. I, no, they don't exist at pharmacies. You how do you like, get a prescription? Will you take a you know prescription what? to a dealer? All right, should we play the audio? Fuck sure. Yeah. Let's expose now, this uh, motherfucker. Well, I want to hear what this is all about. Carl Smitzy on the Frank <laughs> Show in uh, in Arizona there. So what were you going to ask me well, that you got a, uh, interested in? We were talking about your website, and you said there's like hate mail and stuff on there. Oh, I get great hate mail. What? What's it about in regards to what? Great hate mail. Well, I got a flood recently because somebody went on Joe Rogan's website and asked him about me, and then he said that the force was weak with me, basically what? saying that I'm not, you know... All that. What does that mean? The, the force. You know, the Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but, force is well, weak with him. What is he trying to say? Whatever. That I suck. And so then he put a link to my website. So a bunch of his fans 
came on the website and like just put a bunch of hate mail on there. And I had to school him because I've been doing comedy longer than him. Right. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. If anybody if anybody took anybody's style, it wouldn't be me. Him, it would be him, me. Right, right. Because right. I was the one with HBO specials in 1994. Right. Nobody knew who Joe Rogan was in 94. I didn't know who he was. Yeah, and yeah. Local Slam in 93. Nobody knew who I, he was. I, and Comedy I, Compadres in 92. By the way, Star pause Search it real quick. Pause it real Stop. quick. Totally different style back then than he has now, by the way. Yeah. Totally different style. Different. Much more the Latino angle, much different, much, much influenced now by a bunch of other people, including me. All right, go ahead. And right. Comedy Compadres in 92, and Star Search in 91. Star Search oh, Show. Star Search Champion in yeah. 91. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Four stars so, from the judges. So I'm just saying, yeah. hey, I won. I won. That's all that matters, Whitey. Why you got to bring a beater down, dude? Why you got to bring me? Did you get three and a half stars? Hey, I got the championship, bitch. How about that? Why you got to Technicality. Even if no one showed up, he still won. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first clip. That's the first clip. Comment? Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> whatever. That's a you won Star Search. Holy shit! Didn't Sinbad win Star Search? Too? <laughs> Does that really fucking mean anything? <laughs> now, uh, uh, here's here's the point. He's trying to justify what everybody knows. That he's a thief and that he's a hack, and you know he's upset at me. I didn't put the link on his site. A bunch of people found his show to be very derivative, and they were on my message board, and uh, they were talking about how much he sounds like me. And they asked me about him. I didn't want to deal with it. You know, what do you think about Carlos? Blah, blah, blah. I just wrote, the force is weak with him. I'm being fucking nice. That's all I was doing. I was being nice. By saying the force is weak with him, that is nice compared to what this guy really is. He's a fucking thief. That's all it is. All right, so I'm, be, I'm just trying to avoid some bullshit. I don't want to deal with it, man. You know, whatever. I'm in the middle of 50,000 fucking things. I write that. I type that out. What's that? And then... Apparently, that was it. Well, I fucking heard enough. So he goes on this show. This guy's living in the thinnest walled glass house in the history of the fucking comedy world. Ever. I mean, this guy's got fake fucking name, a fake ethnicity, and he's a joke thief. There's nothing genuine about him. And yet this dumb motherfucker thinks he's going to get on the air in Tucson, and I'm not going to hear about it. But thank God this guy, Frank, emails me and sends me this. Kudos to that guy. That guy, that, that's a fucking nice move. All right, let's go to the next clip here. So, so no, but I'm tired of it, dude, because I've been nice to that guy all the time. Yeah. And that dude, you know, what happens is we go to the comedy store, right, where I haven't been in years. Right. And everybody walks around saying Joe Rogan is the man. Right. Right? But they're saying that because they haven't seen me. Right. So then I go in there and I show them what can be done, and they walk around and go, oh, my God, everything I heard about Carlos is right. That guy is sick. Nope. I mean, I'll walk into the comedy store, dude, after legends walk in there. Right, right. At right. like 1 o'clock in the morning in front of 12 drunk people. Sure. And I'll get a standing ovation. Right. Because <laughs> I, I love that place. Sure. I mean, it just, dude, it's just, oh. Yeah. And then all the comics walk. That's where I got the, that's where I got the nickname The Punisher. Right. I got the nickname The Punisher because uh, who was in there? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me make this up real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. First of all, nobody calls that guy the Punisher. They call him the phony Mexican or they call him Carlos Menstilia. That's all anybody calls him. If you go to the comedy store, that's what you hear. Oh, dude, the phony Mexican's here. Or Carlos Menstilia's here. And what happens? Everybody gets nervous because Carlos sits in the back of the room with a fucking tape recorder and watches people's sets. I had never heard of the Punisher. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Rock was on stage. All right. And I was with some buddies. And they were like, man, Chris Rock is unbelievable. They're all like creaming oh, their pants over Chris God. Rock. Yeah. yeah. And I went, he's great. He's awesome. And I disappeared. <laughs> and I told the guys, I want to go on after Chris. So I went on after Chris, and I just destroyed the room. Yeah. And then from that point on, all the comics were like, that's the guy. <laughs> that's the guy, man. He's the one. The Punisher right there. That is so fucking insane. If you knew the atmosphere of the comedy store and how much that guy is loathed, this would be hysterical. <laughs> when he shows up, everybody goes, ooh. <laughs> That's what everybody goes, this motherfucker. And a few guys, like, they, they'll open for him on the road every now and then. It's so like, hey, Carlos, what's up? You know, they just want that $120 check every now and then, you know? He's <laughs> thinking how much Raymond Pride fucking noodles they can buy with it. That's it. Those are the only people that talk to him. Oh, man. <clears throat> Oh, I get. He steals other comics' material. That, that we've heard a lot. Now, yes. Put, put these rumors to rest. <laughs> well, we get we get comics to come in here and make yes. those comments before. But they make them 
because they can't explain why I'm funnier than them. Right, right, right. So whoever said that? But is that part of Joe Rogan's stick with you, though? That Because uh, did, yes. didn't Joe out yes. Dennis Leary on Howard Stern and all that? Hold on, right, real quick. I think that... First of all, I, I outed Dennis Leary on, in Playboy magazine, and then I didn't even bring it up. How, no, we someone, talked about that. Someone called it up when I was on Howard. Yeah. Someone called in, and they brought it up, and I said, like, okay, here's, here's what happened. And I always tell everybody that I was a Dennis Leary fan. <clears throat> When I first started out doing comedy in Boston, I remember the first time I saw Lear, I was like, holy shit, this guy's fucking awesome. This guy's really funny. And then I saw Hicks, and I was like, okay, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> These guys are doing the same shit. And then I, I talked to all the comics in Boston, all the old school comics, and they all said, Leary's a thief. And I was like, whoa. I was like, well, why are they hiring him? Well, that's just the way it goes. I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. And you know what? No one ever wanted to listen to someone who nobody knew who the, the guy was. You know, when I was on news radio, and I, if I was running around yelling, Dennis Leary's a thief, I'd be like, fuck you, who the fuck are you? You know, and then finally, you know, like, people knew who I was, and they asked me when I did this Playboy magazine interview, you know, what do you hate about comedy? What, what bothers me? I'll tell you what I hate. I hate fucking joke thieves. Do you want to name joke thieves? I said, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, these are the people that steal. And I and I started going off about Dennis Leary, about how much it bothered me and it fucking how much it freaked me out that this guy could just take somebody's ideas and rework them and make a career out of it. It's yeah, fucking the, crazy. Dennis Leary's I mean, first album was so <laughs> similar to the Bill Hicks stuff. It's it was same scary. material. It was scary. But then you look at Locked and Loaded, the last one that he did after Bill died, and it's a fucking steaming pile of shit. <laughs> it's awful because that's Dennis's real thoughts. That's his real creative material. That's his real shit. Leary on Howard Stern and all that. I think that I think that's what happened. See, those guys want to put me down because they got nothing. They they got nothing on me. Yeah, yeah. They got nothing on me. So then they just throw See, that out there. Here's how I could prove it to you. I mean, to anybody, I don't have the time to steal other people's material what if I want it. What the fuck does right. that mean? What the fuck does I don't have the time to steal material? But what you have the time to write material? You fucking asshole! What does that even mean? You know, I don't have the time to steal material. That is the, the, mo this, the most insane defense I've ever heard in my life. I don't have the time to steal material. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! But yet you're sitting in the back of the fucking room every time I'm on stage watching me. My whole fucking set. And I got it on videotape, you cocksucker! And it's on JoeRogan.net, and anybody can watch. Anybody can watch you watching me. Hey, and get, me watching you bomb I for about 30 seconds and leaving the room. Get that up there. I want to see this now. You can watch it. My, my, my cameraman made a whole video. Made a whole video. Because Keep playing. I'll explain the whole thing. Buddy, <laughs> I don't have the time to steal other people's material if I wanted to. Right, right. Let's just theoretically say that I wanted to steal other people's material. The past 10 years, right. I've been doing the road 50 weeks a year. Right. 50 weeks a year. So you don't have time. I couldn't be in two places at the same time if I wanted to steal your act. I couldn't. So why guys Pause like that for a second. second. I did a one-man show in Aspen, and this is when I hated this motherfucker, and we had words at the comedy store, and he knew I hated him. And yet, he came into the... While I was standing there waiting to go on stage in Aspen at the comedy festival, he came into the room and sat down and watched my entire fucking set. We, he knew I hated him. He knew that he hated me, and yet he came there and he watched, like he does with everybody. He sits and he watches, and he just cherry-picks. Just cherry-picks ideas. How can I rework that? How can I fit that into my beaner material? How can I fit that into... <laughs> To this. That's what he does. <laughs> I wanted to steal your act. I could. So why are guys like Joe? And secondly, they can't do my jokes. So why are they saying that? Oh, why those they, jokes are so why, fucking why? hard to do. Fuck! Black people, fuck! White people, fuck! What's up, white people? Come on, take a joke! Fuck! Those jokes are so fucking hard to do. You fucking craftsmen! You goddamn fucking genius! Would you compare white people to Mexicans? That is insane! How do you do that? How do you rework Paul Mooney's material, take out the word nigger, and put in Mexican? That is fucking genius! Where do you come up with these thoughts? Are you taking DMT? Are you lying in an isolation tank? Are you tripping on mushrooms? Where are you getting this creative burst of fucking genius? Please, oh. tell us, oh Punisher. Please, <laughs> tell us. Hey, you fucked up, asshole. You talked about me on the radio. You gave me... It's open season on phony Mexicans, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. So, this is the pot lollipop talk. How many more Red Bulls are you going to have this morning? That's all oh, I need to know. I need tonight. one, dude. That lollipop's laced with, with some hate. other shit, too. Yeah.
the uh, hatred. The lollipops almost gone. Red you know what? Ball. This is <laughs> 10 years ball. of this kind of hate, man. Right. I've watched this guy for 10 years do this shit. 10 years steal from everybody, man. So why are they saying that? Why are they, why, why are they making these because comments? Because that's the only way they feel better about themselves. That's the only way they can explain why I do better than them. Why aren't they saying it about other comics, though? Why, why you? Because those other comics aren't that funny. Oh, Chris Rock. No, that guy's not that funny. <laughs> that Dave Chappelle guy? That guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Dave Attell? Uh, what the fuck is, what, is that guy funny? Come on, Jim Norton? Who the fuck is that? that guy's funny? Bill, comment. Uh, I mean, step up! I, 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 I live out here, man. I never step see, up! I've never seen no, the dude. Somebody's it's got that okay. East Coast, no, West Coast him. thing, dude. Right? I'm, no, it's one of those things. Everything he's saying, I've heard time and time again. But uh, you know, yeah. I heard, heard the same shit. Robin Williams. They always say that shit about him, but it's <laughs> like I, I never seen it. You know what the real problem is? Yeah, they say no Robin one, Williams is a huge thief. He, I'm sure he is. Everybody that I know that have ever seen him in the, back in the day said he was a thief. Steve Pearl, who's a guy who was at the comedy store all the time, said Robin stole a bunch of his shit and had to give him checks for it. But you know what? None of Robin's peers ever stepped up. None of Robin's, you know, none, none of those guys that were like big comics back then ever got on the radio and said, this guy's a piece of shit. You know, no, yeah. no one ever published an article in a magazine. Nobody ever stepped up and wrote a book about it. Nobody ever put an article on their web page. Nobody ever stopped it. Nobody ever, nobody who had the power to stop it ever stood up because they don't want to distract from their own career. They don't want to, you know, focus on, you know, the, the, the possibility they might be jealous of this person. They want to just, you know, do their own shit and just try to hope he doesn't steal from them. You know, like Jay Leno said, oh, just write faster than they can fucking steal. Write faster than they How about kill them and bury them in the fucking woods? Write faster than they can steal? <laughs> I'm five minutes away it's from impossible. doing the rest of the show as loud as him. I'm sorry. <laughs> fucking Joe Rogan! Dude, no, I'm loving the energy. It's, it's, Come on, it's, let's go! So <laughs> fucking mad. Because it's happened to me a bunch of times, and you you write something, and Billy, you can back me up on this. You know what it's like. You get a yes. bit, and you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, Bill Burr doesn't support, have yeah. a network show yet, so. <laughs> you know, you, you you come up with an idea. You you no, it, Carlos you find the right is, way to do Coast, it. West Coast man, I I don't. You know what I mean? I, I, I can't. Well, for, I, but it's not even him. I'm talking about joke thieves in general. There is a West oh, Coast, yeah, East yeah, Coast yeah, comedy yeah, thing yeah. going on. So there's no joke thieves on the ever, East Coast, man. right? No, Everybody's I'm just saying that, you know, cool. if less, I would trash yeah. a guy if the dude stole one of my jokes. I saw him do it. I definitely knew it. I've heard all this shit about Carlos, but, I, you know, yeah. I, my whole career has been out here. I don't even get half of it. I didn't know what a fucking beaner was. That's like how, how, when he's like, I know what you're thinking. They, <laughs> got, they finally gave a beaner a show. And my girl looked over at me. And she goes, what's a beaner? <laughs> That's my only thing about him. He does his act like everybody grew up right outside of San Diego. <laughs> All right, we got two more clips here. They're short. It's true. <laughs> you, you're right, actually, Frank. It was Joe Rogan to Dennis Leary, yeah. and, and Dennis Leary actually came out and called him out on it. Yeah. And, and Joe just cowered. That's, yeah, why why that's, is Joe... Hysterical. You didn't, didn't count. By the way, I was following hysterical. that whole thing. There's no cowering, dude. From Dennis Leary losing a cough on me. What's gonna happen? <laughs> That's an easy one. You could just get all the CDs and see yeah, which one was done first. No cowering. You know what, man? I you know you I get came Bill out. Hicks' Relentless, and then uh, get Dennis Leary's first album, and you'll you'll see. Uh, and I'm aware of this. Yeah, and I'm I'm aware of this really intimately because the producer of all of Bill's albums is Bill's best friend, Kevin Booth, who's a really good friend of mine. So I got straight information right from Kevin mm. who told me exactly what Bill was going through how Bill was freaking out about how, how Bill and and Dennis were friends in the clubs and he couldn't fucking believe that Dennis was doing his shit and Dennis is doing shit that he did on an album and he's doing his no cure for cancer thing he's like this is insane like how do I stop this was it just accepted back then no man just nobody did anything nobody stepped up and said hey fuck you you know, nobody stepped up. Nobody stepped up. No, That's once what it you, is. Once you get to the point, if, you, if you're putting, you know, asses in the seats, yeah. they, they don't care. So it's yeah. up to you guys to kind of, like, police <sighs> the thing. Club owners don't give a fuck. But what about you guys policing the thing, making it uncomfortable That's what I'm doing right guys. now. That's what I'm doing right now. Take him to the octagon. That's what we're doing right now. Take him to the octagon, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> we're making the phony Mexican <laughs> uncomfortable right now, and I want everyone to know. UFC rules. Come on. But, uh, you, Kick you, some ass. You need a lot more of the, you know, your fellow uh, comedians to step up. Well, you know what? Absolutely. You guys got to police your own. And you know what? He fucked up. Because we if he wasn't talking shit about me, I wouldn't be talking about him right now. We well, would be talking about whatever. Well, because we, we've gone after a bunch of radio shows recently, and their excuse was, ah, everyone steals, so it's okay. And we're finally saying, no, it's not okay. It's just not okay. It's not. And that's, I heard that's, Chuck Liddell ripping you off. 
<laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to hide. <laughs> Cover my, my body and curl up in the fetal position, hoping it's tired of punching that me. animal. But if Gilbert Godfrey uh, ripped you off, uh, that would be no problem, right? That would be a different story. <laughs> Clearly. Joe's a, Joe's a tough motherfucker, man. <laughs> Mary actually came out and called him out on it. Yeah. And, and Joe just cowered. Yeah, why Why That's is Joe true. all of a sudden de- determined that he's the arbiter of comedy and he's going to put everybody in check? What's up with Joe? Because he, I don't know, man. It's it's insecurities. It's like, look, when I go on stage, okay, this weekend, for example, I'm going on stage with 11 other comics. Okay. Okay. We're doing 12,000 seats in L.A., 20,000 seats in San Jose, California. Right, right. All right? So we're doing this huge venue. I'm, I'm telling you right now that from a competitive standpoint... I want to be the funniest guy on that stage. Just like I want to kick everybody's ass. It's just like everybody in radio that does morning radio. They right. want to be the funniest show, the most popular right. show. Sure. But at the end of the night, yeah. that doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. Because it's all about putting the effort forth. I think the force is with you, Carlos. <laughs> Don't listen to that Joe Rogan. Wow, that guy's really funny. <laughs> the guy at the end there was really <sighs> funny. I like that line. He did. Well, Put probably a got a big laugh in Arizona. So, uh, what? Keep, let's keep going with the clip because at the end of it, this it, is the last clip. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear the greatest story? The greatest, yeah, here's no, the greatest story. Go. Here's the greatest run-up story to that. All right. Uh, Joe was on stage two Fridays ago, and then I went on after him. Oh boy. And he got off stage, and he was just like watching me pacing, wa- and I could see him like <laughs> look in the back of the room, and then I'd get a huge laugh, and he'd walk out, then he'd come back and get a huge laugh, then he'd walk out. <laughs> and then I got off stage, and I left. And the next day, uh, I got a phone call from uh, some of the comedians, and they're like, dude, we don't know if we fixed it, but we made him, we made him, uh, we made him admit it. And then, uh, well, listen to how, oh, how full of shit that sounds. I mean, if right. you're someone who knows how to read people when they're lying and making things up, just replay just that. We ma- 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 made him uh, admit it. Listen to this. All right, hold on. i got to do a little something here. But we made him, we made him, uh, we made him admit it. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking you're a about? You're psychologist, too. I they love it. They made him admit it? They made him admit it. Admi- what? Admit, admit yeah, well, what? Yeah, he'll play it again. Oh, I will? No, I mean, uh, he'll say it again. He'll oh. say what it is. They're like, dude, we don't know if we fixed it, but we made him, we made him, uh, we made him admit it. And then, uh, made him was, admit what? Right so here. here's what they did. Uh-huh. They sat, he was talking smack about me and they said, dude, you can say whatever you want about him, but you know what? He doesn't steal people's material. He's great. And you know what? Right. He kills. And you have to admit that. You can say you hate him. You say you don't like him. But you have to admit that he kills. And he was like, I will not admit that. And they're like, you have to do it. You have to admit that he kills. And they're like, we talked to him for an hour. And at the end of an hour, he finally said, all right, all right. I admit it. All right. He said, so he said, and they quote that he said, fine, he kills. I don't know how he does it. I can't explain it. But he kills. <laughs> And then they all just walked away, and I was like, yes. I am the Punisher! <laughs> and then I whacked off. Oh, oh, now, <clears throat> the comedy got shine upon thee. That's why it gets a standing ovation. <laughs> now, here's the beautiful Did thing. Did you hear the hole, Anthony? Yeah, so the hole added in her. Yeah, the hole. <laughs> Every morning show has to have a hole that <laughs> absolutely <laughs> nothing. But here's the beautiful thing about it what, what he's describing yeah i actually have a cameraman that follows me around at the comedy store because a bunch of my buddies come to the comedy store and a lot of times we're hanging out in the parking lot some really funny shit happens <laughs> and we videotape it and i edit it and I, I i put it on the internet yeah well my camera guy was there for this night and he videotaped carlos watching me Okay, from the back of the room, doing exactly what he claims I was doing, pacing around the room, watching me from a bunch of different angles, and then he also videotaped me afterwards going, dude, I just don't, what the, he's talking about nothing. He's just saying nothing. He's a fucking idiot. Saying that for one minute. That's how I talked about him, for one minute. That's it. That was the whole thing. We got all of it on videotape. All of it. <laughs> Including this, this audio, so we have his audio over the mm-hmm. reality. And my camera guy edited it all together with a a, a Mexican song. And <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's on JoeRogan.net? Yeah, you can go watch it. All right, let's go to George. George in Tennessee. George, what's up? Wow. Hi. Hey, man. We're oh. hanging with Joe Rogan today. What do you got? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm only 18, but uh, 
I mean, I've watched guys like Jerry Seinfeld and Bill Cosby. And, it, I mean, it's like fucking crazy just to see Larry the Cable Guy go out there and make, sell millions of records or whatever in fucking five minutes sit on everybody else's shit. He does other people's shit? I've never heard that before. Have you ever mm. heard that before about Larry the Cable Guy? Uh, I'm an East Coast comic. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. You guys okay. are bringing up dudes like, you know, you guys have you ever heard, heard of George that? the Vacuum we, Guy? Huh? I've, 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 you I've heard uh, this Beaner guy? Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't heard of these fucking guys. I'm sorry. To be fair, I mean, we had Larry the Cable Guy on. He killed for us, and I, I didn't recognize anything. I material, saw so. Larry live in Montreal. That was the only time I saw him. It was like six or seven years ago or something like that. And I saw original material, and I thought he was pretty funny, and he's a really nice guy. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know those fucking stuff. Southern guys? I like what did, what, what did you I like? I, he's gone. He's gone? All right, let me set the scene. Joe Rogan sitting in with us today. Is there anything you want to accomplish? Uh, I think I already got it out. We should do uh, something well, really fucked up to you. Yeah. Anything you want, man. Uh, I'm we'll try to game. figure something out. Okay. we got a few more hours with Joe Rogan. He's uh, on his yeah. third Red Bull. He's finished. Zero his... sleep. And the pot, pot lollipop. Pot lollipop. Pot lollipop. Can you gone. smoke the stick when you've done that? would be cool, right? That would be the ultimate. This just in. Carlos Mencia has been booked on the Opie and Anthony show next week. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Is that true, Ben? Why don't you tell Joe Rogan to his face that uh, you just booked the enemy? Oh, that's what the <laughs> don't do that, man. Listen, dude. Carolina, it's going to be beautiful. I'm just Let putting him, him in. I don't even have to be in. just going to choke Ben out. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, dude. Break. Listen, you know, I've done my door. work, and let him come in here, and his pale words will fall out of his mouth like dry bricks and just crumple. This is kind of like a Tupac Biggie thing, I yeah. But you're no, both, but no. both you guys are West Coast, though. You know, it's not, it's nothing like that. This is a joke thief and a comedian. We got to get you a nickname, though. Now, really? yeah, the you Punisher need a nickname. Versus, uh... The Punisher, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> white people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, let's try to get a name for uh, Joe. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I don't even know what to do next because <laughs> it's amazing on the radio. We just got to regroup a little Listen, bit. You know what, man? It's been coming a long time, and this stupid fuck, it didn't even have to happen. It wouldn't have happened if he didn't talk about me on this radio show. If he if he didn't if he didn't talk about me on that Tucson radio show, which he probably thought I would never hear. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't talk about me on Opie and Anthony. He talked about me on something he thought I would never hear right. in fucking Tucson. And that guy, you know, thank God he had some balls, and he fucking emailed me that clip. You know, that was it. He started it. That's all I needed to hear. Just, yeah. He launched the first Scud missile, and I just dropped a fucking nuclear bomb on his head. <laughs> all right, well, you know. Which, which is an easy target. It's rather, yeah. rather large. Fuck! <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you've realized by now. I had to throw people. something in. I got, I got nothing. Yeah, lobbing you guys something are just bringing in there. Up these obscure, what about Larry the Cable Guy, huh, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear that fishing story joke before? <laughs> Get her done. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of these guys. <laughs> well, maybe a hero comes in and saves the day. Or a hero. Yeah, like sure. the Punisher. <laughs> the Punisher. <laughs> you can come Other in. comedians call me the Punisher. Oh, God, you're one of them. No, you're the Punisher. God, don't shoot me. Yeah, Joe Rogan went off on Carlos Mencia yesterday on oh our show. Oh, my God, did he. I guess there's a video of uh, Joe Rogan going off on Carlos Mencia up on... Uh, foundrymusic.com and opianthony.com. Mm -hmm. Here's our dilemma. Carlos Mencia is booked for the show next week. The Punisher will be on our show next the week. The Punisher. Well, I think some people in here are going to be punished, <laughs> if I may say. The self-appointed Punisher. The self-appointed and anointed Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> that is a name. You absolutely can't pick for yourself. I can't Just believe like, that, that went by me, and I, I didn't even, like, Rogan was so going off, I never yeah. stopped for a second. Like, wait a minute. They call you the pun. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Who? Anytime find me his, a person. His name is brought up. It's Carlos or Mencia. Yeah. That's it. No one goes, uh, you know what's coming to Caroline's this weekend? The, the Punisher. Punisher. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a gig with the, the Punisher. What? Who? Yeah. Carlos Mencia. Oh, what? why did you call him the Punisher? Sounds like a, like a, like a wrestler in one of those. Yeah. Like, those shows with it's like on basic cable. Not not like, uh, Vince McMahon. No, not that level. There's like eight people in the crowd. It's all those Mexicans that wear like the masks. It's at a high school gym. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, it's yeah. all and whenever they hit the Yeah, when they hit the canvas, it sounds like it's made out of, like, aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> coming you the tell ring. him the Punisher's coming for him. Yeah, those are the names, the Punisher. I want a nickname now. Like a real nickname, because I hate this Opie crap. Well, you just got to give it to yourself. I want to be the something. You want a the Punisher yeah. type thing? Yeah, and, you're, the... and they say everybody calls you that. Yeah, the name has to be, it has to start with the. Uh-huh. Like the Punisher. I want to be like, uh... Well, the... let me just scroll through instant feedback, and we'll find you one. <laughs> the... No? I want to be... <laughs> I know. Instant <laughs> The douchebag. <laughs> the douchebag. <laughs> the ass wipe. <laughs> I've really set myself up for a bad one today. <laughs> My shallow ego. I don't know if I... That's why they call me the douchebag. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can take this. All right, I'm going to take that back. Our listeners can be cruel. Yes, you really just can. lobbed it over the net. Yeah, because yeah, certainly Because I'm dreaming of, like, you know, my name's going to be the executioner. The right, destroyer. Right. The destroyer. Something really cool. Uh, that, that fits my personality in a way that makes it all right. But no, it's going to be like the douchebag. <laughs> yeah, see, you don't want to be marshmallow ass. <laughs> that never uh, never <laughs> sounds intimidating. You can't say, hey, watch out for me. I'm I think marshmallow you, I think you pick up some women like that. Actually, my friends call me marshmallow ass. Marshmallow ass. <laughs> oh, my God, he's dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> they call uh, me the Punisher. Prozac from Whackbag is saying that Ed Asner actually did give you the name D uh, Destroyer, Opie. Oh, that's right. Ed Asner. Yeah, there it is. That's my nickname, according to Ed Asner, the Destroyer. The Destroyer. And Ed Asner called him that. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yep. I am the Destroyer. Would you step on his glasses or oh, something? Oh, he, he hated me. Absolutely hated me. No surprise there, I know. Whackbag guys really do give themselves uh, their own names, right? Right. Like, like, just like Prozac, you know? Hey, my name's Prozac. Get that name. You gave it to yourself, you know? But everyone calls him Prozac on the message board. No, oh, you, you just need the expression people. Yeah. It's not anybody. People, call, people, people call me. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow, the listeners are being really kind uh, this morning. Opie's, are they? Opie's new name, Millionaire Douche Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> the Taint Master. <laughs> the the Java Log Boy. All right, you know what? No, no. Let's move on to other bits. The, the main event. <laughs> Someone on uh, the phone, the puppy killer, the kid toucher. That's that. That's Jim Norton, man. Shit dick. <laughs> Shit dick. Lovely. Fuck face. Fuck face. Yeah, they're coming in like crazy now. The I cower when a guy punches my rearview mirror, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to rem that's remember the good. bad stories. And it's no, you can't put a sentence in, in <laughs> right. uh, behind the. It's it's supposed to be the one word. Yeah. That sums it all up. The coward. Right. The Destroyer. <laughs> I like The Destroyer. Coward. How about The... <laughs> how <laughs> about... picks that one for themselves. How about The Gregster? The Gregster. That's a great one. On the show today, Gary Hoey. He's yeah. in the studio. He's going to be uh, jamming for us in a little while. Also, the in, ins and outs, ins and outs. Also, The Punisher will be here around now 9, 9.15. And now we got to call him out on that. Of course we have to. That's all got to be. This all has to be hashed out. The Rogan stuff. You know, we had Joe Rogan on. There, there seems to be a little battle going on between them. A little battle. What's going Why on? Why don't they just settle down and become <laughs> friends? Just settle down. But there's a, a battle going on between those two, and I guess we could get uh, his side of it. The Punisher. What's the uh, What's the brouhaha about? Oh, please. It's Joe Rogan. Uh... And Carlos Mencia just going at each other. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan says that Carlos has been pilfering from people for years. He's known as a comedy thief. This is what Rogan says. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Carlos uh, says that he kicks ass wherever he goes. And Rogan's the hack. And uh, and uh, Carlos says he calls uh, that people call him the Punisher, uh, like all the other comics and stuff. Uh, co you know, comics they don't make up nicknames for other comics, especially. Like yeah. flattering ones, Thanks. like hey, it's the Punisher. I don't even want to go on after him. <laughs> you know, this guy's so good. I I'm gonna be embarrassed getting up on stage. Well, we're gonna get to the. I've bar. heard I can't the, follow the Silver Surfer. <laughs> I've heard the douchebag. I've heard the prick. I've heard things like that with you comics throwing names back and forth for each other. Yeah. Never the Punisher. Not the hack. More with Adam Ferrara, <laughs> Gary Hoey on the way. We got Carlos Mencia coming in. And hey, uh, the Punisher. The Punisher and. Uh,
<laughs> we're ready for the Punisher. Well, we're in a we're in an uncomfortable position, Carlos, because we had a comedian come on the air. Oh, don't and, be uh, uncomfortable. And he, that guy, don't don't worry and, about it. That and, guy's been talking smack for years, dude. For years. That's why I like finally said something in Tucson, because the guy. I've been talking so much smack. It was like, dude, just stop talking about me. So for all you, like, into this whole thing, people, you can call a morning show called The Locker Room in Denver called KBPI and ask them if three years ago this guy was talking smack. It's just like, oh, my God. I don't, I, I, I don't think anybody's actually denying the fact that smack is being smuck. But it's, <laughs> but it's like... It's no, like, he is. He came in here like... Oh, it's on now. It's like, dude, it's been on for you forever. What are you talking about? And I want to go on record and say that I like both of you guys, so it's a, it's a weird thing. A weird thing that's going <laughs> on. Don't be weird. It, it, for been, me, it's go to my website. I was at read my bio page. I've been at, I've been to Carl's house. I've hung with Joe Rogan at the store. Rogan says I know that's made uh, up I know stuff Carl's stuff. lovely wife Amy. I was invited to what, what was I invited to when I was out there? Oh, uh, I don't know. Was but, it your engagement? But party you don't back you then? don't have to, dude. That's my point. I, I've never said anything bad about Joe Rogan's comedy. Here. You give me a credit card? No, check that out. Because <laughs> oh. he said that I made up my name, dude. That's, that's a green it. card. What's my name on the green card? Um, Honduras. Oh, the, my name, actually. Oh, uh, Ned. Ned what? Mencia. There you go. Ned A. Mencia. There you go. You got a green card? Yes. Wow, this is cool. I'm a beaner, dude. I, when I say I'm a beaner, I'm a I beaner, bro. You, you were born in 1915? No. Oh, yeah, that's, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's like high-tech and shit. What's on the back of that? Dude, ever since 9-11, bro. You don't, yeah. you don't fuck around, dude. It's got, wow, it's it's got, got like, a hologram and all kinds of shit in the back, holograms dude. on this. You yeah, name it. yeah, exactly. Permanent resident card? Exactly, dude. How creepy is that? Why do you need this? Because yeah, I'm like, not I'm not an actual citizen yet. Why is that? Because I I like took the test and then I got you got to get sworn in, and yeah. I had a gig. Are you shitting me? And like a true American, I took the money. You <laughs> went for the money gig. Before. So now I got to do it all over what again. What do you got to wait? Oh, th now you got to take the test all over again. Uh, yeah, got to take the test all over. Is again. Is that a hard test? No, yeah. What questions they ask you? God, I should have brought it, dude. You yeah. should have, because I guarantee you, you that I would get it. get on the internet? Oh, yeah, you can get it on the internet. It's like, uh, who was the first president? What are the three branches of government? Mm -hmm. um, you know, who's the president now? You know, that kind okay, of so stuff. So far, I'm all right. Uh, yeah, so far. <laughs> I was thinking that in my head. What are the first uh, 15 amendments to the Constitution called? Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. Yeah, just stuff like right. that. But then there's a couple of them that you're like, what? Uh -oh. oh, fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to let me in. The, the, I, I guarantee we get Lady Di on the phone, she will fail the test. Can we throw her out of the country then? Please. Yeah, I would love to. But right, but the other the thing the is test. is that if you've been here over 20 years, you can take the test in whatever your native tongue is. All right, here we go. Get the fuck out. So my dad took the test in Spanish. That doesn't seem like you should be able to do that. Did he pass? Uh, yeah, but it was easy for him because I like I read it and I was like, these are in Spanish, Dad. Don't right. you think you need to know them in English? And he was like, No, they're going to ask the questions in Spanish. And I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? You can become an American? What? Oh, we got the questions up? Yeah. What are the colors of our flag? Was that one of the questions? Right. Red, oh, white, blue. All right. How mm -hmm. many stars are there on the flag? Yeah. 50. 50 or 48? Nah. Are you about to say? He's about to say 48. <laughs> no, I was. I was just fucking with you. Stop. That one I know. I'll tell you the ones I don't know. What color are, uh, uh, are the stars on our flag? Blue. What do the stars on the flag Blue. mean? White. Blue. They're white. Wait, white. The stars, dude. They're white. Oh, the stars are white. Blue, blue background. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Opie, are you a citizen? Wait, are you wait, a citizen? Let me oh, you're going oh, yeah, back, you're right. dude. Okay. You're going back to Europe, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Send them back. We don't need to know this shit. We're here. I agree. I, I was agree. born here. I don't need to know crap. What else? Let her rip. Uh, how many stripes are there on the flag? What Thir do the stars 13, on the flag? How many? Yeah, 13. That's one most people don't know. And that uh, represents the original colonies. Mm -hmm. What color are the stripes? Uh, red, red and white. And white. What do the stripes on the flag mean? Yeah. The colonies. Very colonies. good. How many states are there in the Union? The states in the Union? 50. Puerto Rico would say 51, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I was ready to uh, say more than 50. No, it's 50. They're, they're well, not the a Puerto state. Rico thing is getting a little squirrely. Not, that, they want to be a state. a state. Why do we celebrate the 4th of July? What is the date of Independence Day? Uh, independence from whom? What country did we fight during the Revolutionary War? England, mm -hmm. England. Who is the first president? Washington. Who is president today? 
Huh. An idiot. Uh, <laughs> An idiot. <laughs> Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Uh, let's see. It, it just goes on, on and on in space. There's got to be some in there. What, yeah. What's one of the, what are, the what are the duties of Congress? Uh oh, that's right. a tough one. I gotta pack my bags. Drink. Uh, screw. Pages. Uh. Get. Blowjob. You're right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the duties of Congress. Congress. Yeah, they make laws. Yes. That's the legislation. All right, here's thing. a tough one. How, how many? How legislation many? makes the makes the laws. Yeah. Congress. Congress makes the law. How many the executive interprets and judiciary enforces? How many? No, the opposite. Where's my card? What? Judiciary interprets. Judiciary interprets and executive, executive enforces? enforces. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. exactly. How many changes or amendments are there to the Constitution? Wow, how many amendments? Ooh, total. Uh, Oof. That's Can I take one. out the ones I don't agree with? <laughs> well, the first ten of the, uh, ten or fifteen of the Bill of Rights. Fifteen, I think. Fifteen of the Bill of Rights. Um, That's the first ones. Look at this room of fucking retards. Eh. For how long do we elect each senator? Senator. Senator. That's six. Six years, I think. Yes. Uh, what are the duties of the Supreme Court? Mm. Nobody knows. Now, nah, now it's getting. That should be to interpret nah, the law. Now nah, right? they're getting out of hand. They're getting a little picky now. Who is Martin Luther King Jr.? Why is that on there? Who Some said, give me liberty or give me death? Nathan Hale. Uh, I thought it was Ethan Allen. They called him <laughs> They called him Than Hale, though, which is weird. A lot of people don't know that. Than Hale? Than Hale, yeah. That was the first guy that won uh, Garon, uh, right. I, I, I keep going, but this is on a, a really bad blue background, and now I can't Are you going shit. blind watching that? I cannot that? see. Sh- I cannot focus anymore. Opie, is it, is it as He's blue? He's rubbing his eyes. Is it as blue as the stars eyes. on the flag? I'm, all right. How many amendments were there? Was it like 30? I can't 30 even something. Even Are you kidding? Are there you answers? Say? Holy crap. Are the answers there? No. No, there's no answers. Mm. Don't you know his stinking answers? Oh, <laughs> click they here. Give, they they give, give you the answers. answers. Okay. Oh. oh. There you go. Dick Cheney was, is the president. <laughs> 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 See, now you got to match it up with the question, and, yeah. now, and now we don't have the question. That's hard. So I could just tell you uh, answer 33 was 435. That test is hard. There you go. It gets it gets pretty hard, dude. But then it's verbal. They they get to ask you whatever they want. So you know. Oh, you gotta know all the capitals. Oh, oh you kidding? Boy, that that's rough. I know, all the capitals? Yes. I know Des Moines and Albany. That is really hard. What is the capital of Alabama? Montgomery. Very good. Ooh. Wow. Uh, what about? Uh, let me try to get a. Uh, how about um, Kansas? Kansas. Yeah. Jesus Christ, uh, that would be... Um, Walk, Arkansas, Kansas is... Uh, Kansas is... Okay. Uh, uh, are you looking? Topeka. Is it Topeka? Yes, very good. To- it is? Topeka. Damn it. How about Kentucky? That was a, That's a tough one. Kentucky. Louisville. No, it's not Louisville. That's, a big, uh, that's the big city there. People are screaming at their radios right now. <laughs> <laughs> no one's, no one's going to get it in this room. Kentucky. Frankfurt. <laughs> Stop reading. I didn't read. Did you read? How am I reading? Where? Right over here. Oh, right. I can see that. Why not? It's 20 miles away. All right. I'm going to... St- all right. Hold on a minute. Did you really not cheat? He cheated. Of course I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I have eyes I like a hawk. <laughs> I know what happened. <laughs> all right. How about... He didn't even know Frankfurt was in Kentucky. <laughs> Germany? One more and I'm hiding the answer. Oh, South Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota? Who cares, really? Like that's what, like that's what I would answer during the test. Right. Who cares? It's South Dakota. Saint Paul. Pierre. That would be Minnesota. No, Pierre. 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 South Dakota. What? Anyway. Who cares? But yeah, so what? No who one. cares about the capitals? Well, I you're gonna care because you got to do the test again. Yeah, I got to do it like in a couple of months, actually. How could you take a gig after you did all the prep work? It was a lot not... of money, dude. <laughs> it was yeah. a lot of money, bro. Especially at the time. That just seems like one of those things on the priority list. Becoming American citizen. Because I thought, and what, what, could, do you do? Be, Throw away the what could be more American than taking a job? Getting the money. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what is this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, John and Philly, go ahead. Yo, uh, Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. Not Ethan Allen, retards. I was joking about the Ethan Allen because that's the, that was the boat that uh, capsized. Was it Nathan Hale? And I was Nathan Hale. Around. I said Nathan Hale. Yeah, he said Nathan Hale. The Stan Hale? Right. Right, but the Ethan Allen was obviously a dumb joke. Oh, so. uh, let's go to Robert in Dallas. Robert? Yeah, the Bill of Rights is the first 10 amendments. Bill of Rights is the first 10, not 15? Yeah. 
I'm right. Canadian. And I, I mean, come on, guys. All right, thank you. Let's go to Eddie. Eddie! Yo, dudes! What's Big up? Big fan. Listen, guys, every motherfucker that takes this test and passes it should get an automatic into any fucking college in this country they want. I swear to God. I, I, I'm a, I got my master's from Princeton. And I don't know half these fucking answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine if you had to take the test to stay. Yeah. This country would be like the uh, Old West again. They'd be giving out land in the middle of it. There'd be nobody here. When you, but you know who would pass? All the immigrants would pass. Because they'd study. They study. the te They have to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you ask my dad all these questions, he'd come in here all badass answering them you'd all. Know him. You wouldn't understand all. half his fucking answers. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'd be like, you know, he'd say Pierre, but it would sound like Paco. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some Paco. Did you say Paco? <laughs> it's Pierre. That's what I said, you know? <laughs> I panic when I come back into America, and I, I'm convinced they're going to ask me something. You're not going not gonna to let I, you in? And I'm not going to know mm. it. Like, do the Pledge of Allegiance or something like that, and, and I'll be like, Ugh. all right, I'll try. <laughs> Um, I always get scared, dude. Always get scared when I'm coming back into the country. Oh, and you got the green card. You must be like, it's like a, a spin the wheel every time you come back. Dude, every time, bro. Yeah. And every time in the past few years they've recognized me, so they let me, they give me a pass. Every time so far. Thank God. Did you end up in a little room? No, they haven't done that to me yet, man. I ended up in a little, you did the uh, Montreal, right? The festival? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up in a little room. On the way back? On the way in. Oh, on the Canada? way in? On the way in. What the hell did they think I they don't were know. doing? There was something, because so, what happens when you do the Montreal Comedy Festival, they got it, they, a li your name's supposed to be on a list. For some bizarre reason, my yeah. name's not on a list. So I'm in a room, my girlfriend's in the other room, my girlfriend's from Montreal, and all I hear is, I live here, he's with me, and I'm like, just send me back to the States. <laughs> I don't want to do the friggin' festival, just send me back. Meanwhile, Middle Easterners are going in there yeah. going, I'm oh, going yeah. to blow some shit up in America. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, no we problems. don't want to profile you. So come on. Profile that you? ticket is my wife. Come on in. <laughs> exactly. They got a conga line right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Adam, what are, what are you here for to tell jokes? Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit, you and your fucking jokes. Bullshit. <laughs> we don't believe you. We have to look in your ass. <laughs> You're on the comedy watch list. <laughs> <laughs> no, my name is just similar. <laughs> I hate having a national talk show because you get to talk to people from South Dakota. Oh, Chuck, boy. go ahead. Yeah, you guys pronounce that wrong. It's Pierre, not Pierre. Pierre. Pierre, <laughs> Pierre. Pierre, South Dakota. Pierre. You know, I drove through South Dakota once, and I found it a fascinating state. The Badlands are there, and so is uh, Mount Rushmore. Oh, and yeah, I stopped and looked, and I, I enjoyed your state, Chuck. Yeah, don't forget Crazy Horse. Mm -hmm. Crazy Horse, right. But Crazy uh, Horse engine. And the so no I, helmet law. Crazy no Horse. Helmet law. Wow. Yeah. Crazy Horse has not been completed, right, sir? Nope, it has not been completed. That face is done, but not the rest of it. They've been working on that damn thing for well over 50 years, I believe. Yep. And they yep. ran yep. out of uh, 50 to go. They ran out of money. Did they? No government funding. Of course not. It's for an Indian. They refused government funding. That's right. It started with uh, one guy he passed it down to his son after he died, right, sir? Yep. Yeah, yeah, and they're points. very good, Opie. And what are they doing this this for? Just a big? It's going to be a big stone it, face? Well, no, it, it, it's it's in the. They're going to build an Indian hospital and everything at the at the base of it. It's but what is it? Statue? To Indian. Yeah. yeah, big statue like Mount Rushmore. It's pretty much a Mount uh, Mount Rush uh, Rushmore. Uh, That's not done, but the casino it, next it, to it is yeah. kicking ass. Yeah. <laughs> the casino next to it is rocking. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the monuments to any of these guys. <laughs> get the get the uh, card tables out. Oh, yeah, the blackjack. Oh. <laughs> you feel a little Mount Rushmore on his arm. All right. It's uh, here, South Dakota. Thank Pierre, you, Chuck. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck. Say hi to the other six people that live there. I'd rather pay tribute to Chief Running Aces. <laughs> <laughs> Chief <laughs> Double Down says we must raise money. <laughs> I, met a, I, met a, I met an Indian girl about six months ago, and her name, I swear to God, was actually Cha-Ching. Cha-ching? Cha-ching? She said it was more like cha-ching, but I was like, that's cha-ching. I was like, that's, that's Asian. That's badass. They well, are, there they are were... people in this country now, ethnic groups, that are claiming like 0.1% Indian just so they can open up casinos and sell tax-free cigarettes. You want me to tell you the sick part? I do a lot of casinos now, mm -hmm. and especially like anywhere in the Southwest, after all the tribe want to meet you. So they're always like, you, the tribe would like to meet you. Sometimes it's in your contract. you got to go hang out with the tribe after. So, you, you know, you're excited, man. I'm going to meet some real Indians. And I swear to God, every single time I walk into a room filled with the tribe, here's yeah. what I get. Oye, wait, ¿qué pasó, Carlos? <laughs> what the fuck kind of Indians are you? 
And then they all look at me and they go, 116. That's all you have to be. That's it's all you have to be. My grandmother fucked one of them. Poof, I got in. I'm like, what? <laughs> they're all in. The, um, it's yep. They're all beaners, dude. They're all Mexicans. Out, out in, on, uh, well, that's obviously the Southwest. Yeah. Up in uh, the Northeast <laughs> here, the, the in Indians we have up here, especially out in eastern Long Island, black guys. They're black. And they're out there as as American Indians getting this tax exemption, trying to open up casinos out there. But they are black guys. Are How, serious? motherfucker? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Indian? Don't give me no shit, motherfucker. <laughs> so, I'm an Indian. Yeah. And uh, that's... Tomahawk so ever, you will not find one guy that owns a casino or is selling tax exempt cigarettes going, mm, would what do you like them? You know, the guy that looks like... Uh, uh, the the Braves with the, the Cowie oh, tribe, yeah. Cowie guy, yeah, yeah. Nakahoma Chief Nakahoma. I've I've I I've, I've only met a couple that actually look like you know like real Indians. The rest of yeah. them, it's just like, dude, come on. I've only seen real looking Indians at those degrading powwows they put on for Whitey, where yeah. they go around and they they go wear the feathers and hi 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 hi, and, and they, they just dance look like around they want to kill themselves. Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, you don't have to. It's, it, that would be the same thing as a black guy getting up going, Well, let me do some soft shoes for you. Right. You know, and doing a tap dance and opening his eyes real wide. The Indians don't have to do that. Stop it. You got the casinos. Just rape us blind. Well, you got me real well, they're, bad they're at Mohegan. They're getting even because they gave white people tobacco. So yeah. now the biggest killer in America is, you know, smoking-related illnesses, and they got casinos. Yeah, that so makes up for the money anthrax back. blankets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exactly. That makes up for the chicken pox and all the other shit. There you go, Injun. You cold? You and your tribe cold? Take these blankets. White men, nice. Give me warm blankets. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Throat, scratch them. Mm, runny nose. Wow, we're, we're being called out like crazy still. Yeah. Pete in New York, go ahead. Hey guys, how you doing this morning? Hey, right, Pete. I want to talk. Uh, I want to ask this unfunny spick. Why are you not talking about what Rogan said about you, man? Ooh. Why are you not defending yourself? What do I need to defend? Hey, Ned, this guy was on the air talking about you, saying you steal people's material. And De wait a minute. Wait a minute. Once? Just so you know, did you did he tell you? Did he tell you what joke I stole? He was on. The, yeah, he was. Did on the he radio say radio what joke I stole? I don't, look, I'm not him. Well, I'm then I'm telling. Then I'll tell you this. You're not defending yourself against what this guy said. Because you don't have to. He didn't you tell you what joke I stole. You're on the air being unfunny. Nobody's laughing at you, dumb shit. Why don't you talk about what happened and defend yourself instead of being a stupid, dumb, unfunny spick, you fucking asshole? Because wow, wow. Ah, uh, because, because he never said what I stole. Well, what? we got we got some quick clips. We could go through it real. You fast. don't have to. See, the whole thing is, had he come up here and said, hey, this is the joke he stole, I'd say, listen, I did that joke, but for all the people that have any, any, any interest in this, I record every single set that I do. So, like, this weekend, when I'm at the club, mm -hmm. I'll actually record every show. So, from 1996 up until now, I've recorded pretty much every single set. So, if anybody actually wants to see my material since then, go to carlosmencia.com, go to the page where you can purchase the albums, Type in a date where I performed, and you can actually get an archived copy of anything you want. But until somebody says, this is a joke he stole, why the fuck would I, why would I even want to get into it? Yeah, that was one of uh, Rogan's points of contention, is the uh, thievery. <laughs> well, he's, the thievery. He, he accused me of stealing, and he accused, what's his name, of stealing? Uh, what's that other comic? He, Dane Cook. Oh, Dane, okay. But with Dane, he gave you an example. He said he stole my joke about animals fucking, and he turned it into hippos. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. Now, when somebody steals your shit, you go, hey, this is the fucking joke he stole. Yeah. That's, he said, I claim I'm Mexican. Read my bio. I've never said I'm Mexican. I said my mom's Mexican. I grew up in East L.A. Um, here's the joke. So for everybody that hasn't heard it at some point in time, here's how the joke goes. I was born in Honduras. My mom's Mexican. My dad's from Central America. I grew up in East L.A. where no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I'm Mexican. White people, wherever you go in America, you're still white. When I go to Miami, I'm Cuban. When I go to New York, what am I? The audience goes Puerto Rican, and I go, fuck you motherfuckers. That's the joke. <laughs> right. I've been doing it forever. I've never lied. People know my name's Ned. I don't care. That's like it's an attack. Ooh, Ned. Ooh. <laughs> I want to hear the audio now. Ooh, Ned. I know, right? We got a, It's just a quick clip. Oh, He's man. claiming that you're a fake Mexican. It'll it'll make for interesting radio. Play That's that. Fun. Play it right here. This Carlos is Joe Mencia Rogan. claims to be Mexican. His name isn't even really Carlos Mencia. That's a fake name. 
His real ethnicity is he's half German and half Honduran. Look at my Are face, German. Yeah, look Ned at my face. Holmes. Doesn't it say Hoffbrow? This is real. <laughs> this is all real. It's I did know that. Invented the name Carlos I'm going Mencia to a Nazi rally just so they can accept the me for the German that I am. Mm -hmm. so By the way, stop that. Stop that right there. And see the guy. See, that's my point. This motherfucking guy calls in saying, defend yourself, calling me a fucking spick. Defend me from what? You just fucking defended me. You called me a spick. <laughs> I can't be a fucking <laughs> kraut if I'm a spick. What am I, a Beaner Schnitzel? Where did the German? <laughs> thing? This fucking retarded. Where does the German? Where did the German thing that's come what, from? Because you don't look German. <laughs> that's my point. Because that's what I usually my, do. You look this. You look you right. Know. My my great grandfather was born in the Cayman Islands, and I checked his last name, mm -hmm. and it comes from Germany. But, but I don't know anybody that comes from Germany. So that's where that comes what from. Great grandfather, name? huh? What did, his name was Adolf Holmes. Hitler, Hitler yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> I Hitler. knew it. It was actually Eichmann. But <laughs> well, the one thing I want to say, man, is uh, I'm in the entertainment business. I mean, people change their names all the time. I know that's for, my for point. show for show business. It's that's like how point. many people have like grown up, you know, and they've changed their name when they became famous or right before. I that's mean, why it's it's not it's not anything I need to defend. All right, that's my Gerhard Hoey, <laughs> <laughs> something you're hiding in your past. Yeah. <laughs> you need to defend yourself. My defense is my website. Go read it. It actually tells you that my father's name is. Roberto Holness, my mom's Magdalena Mencia. Yeah, it tells you everything you need to know. Let's Just uh, go there. This is too much fun. Let's uh, finish the clip. Name is Ned Holness. Ned. This is real. Oh. This is all real. Mitzi I Shore didn't know invented that. the name Carlos Mencia <laughs> to ingratiate him with the Latino community of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So this fucking his retard. Name is Ned. Yeah, his name is Ned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, he's got a fake name. I mean, this guy's so fucking stupid. His whole reason, his whole reasoning for why people call him a thief is that they're jealous. They're jealous of him. This fake fucking Mexican living this fake life, stealing people's material. All right, that's the, uh, wow. That's pretty much the gist of the uh, oh, your fake guy. Mexican. Poor guy. That was... Um, and you know what's, what sucks? We like being in the middle of this. I'm not going to lie to you. It I makes for great radio. Yeah, it, I think he's funny. That's what sucks. I've I love never, I love Rogan. I've He's never said anything. Funny. I've never said anything bad about him or his comedy. I have no idea where all this shit comes from. Where does it? You you don't know like where it comes from? Honestly, dude, look. When go go to my webpage and check, click on my bio, and the first thing it tells you is everything that he laid out about that shit. Now, why would somebody? Like attack somebody on some shit that's right there. I I, right. could, I cannot tell you. The only thing I've ever been able to come up with is is jealousy. No, you got to put in it's nedgerbels dot com. Yeah, <laughs> it's his, Ned uh, Ger his Gerber <laughs> sauerkraut schnitzel. <laughs> I want to go to a Hofbrown now though. See if they'll accept me for the German that I am. You got I really some do. In hey, it's October, man. Oktoberfest is coming around the corner. They picked up Mind of Vincia for next year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, so we're you should do a here. German thing, man. That'd be yeah. hilarious. See, but it's you only... Should, the whole it's, thing is like, some people think I'm German. Well, let's uh, see what the German culture is all about. It, it's not like... It's not there. It's not out there enough. You know what I mean? Like, if this was like a huge, huge yeah, yeah. thing. As a matter of fact, you know what would be great? I changed my name. Mitzi, Mitzi was the one that said. But if you ever want to hear... You want to know why I changed my name? Actually get a copy of my first HBO special... My accent from East L.A. was unmistakable at the time, dude. I mean, it was so thick that Ned just did not apply to the fuck. There's an actual joke where I talk about Jeffrey Dahmer, and I say they didn't find any penises in his house. And I said, you don't eat the dick. But I quote, this is exactly how I said it. You don't eat the dick. <laughs> it's that bad, dude. I swear to God. So, so Mitzi was like, Ned, what the fuck kind of name is that? And I was like, that's my name. And she's like, you got to change it to something more ethnic. You're way too much of a beaner. And so I said, uh, you know, my, my real last name is Mencia, and I got an uncle named Carlos. And that's how it started. But to be honest with you, my dream would be that this gets so huge that I could actually change my name back to Ned so people would know me, like, for my real name. Yeah. Ned, that, man, that'll that's never happen. That's actually funny, though, to be the way you are and come out and say, hi, I'm Ned. I mean, I think that's hysterical. Well, now it is, because I'm, you know. How about Carlos me. Mellencamp Mencia? <laughs> <laughs> As, can you I know, get, just to no, get people used to it. Can I get the cougar? I want cougar <laughs> want first. Cougar? I want cougar. <laughs> 
and and then I'll get rid of it'll it'll be uh, Carlos Ned Cougar Mencia. <laughs> Why can't it be Cougar? Because that's not Mexican enough. Chihuahua. They like you know get a get a bean or animal well, in there. Well, obviously there's something going on that we like. I don't know how it started. He used you to be, apparently we used don't to know how it started. We used, I used to be really good friends with Chuck. Now they used to go work out together. We used to hang out together. And then he started hanging out with uh, at other comedy clubs. And then mm -hmm. uh, George, who fucking hates me, you know what I mean? But with George Lopez, here's a guy who last week actually said, I don't want to see any Hispanic comedians succeed except for me. That's how sick this fucking thing gets. Like, he really? would say some shit like that. That made me cry, dude. I mean, not because of me personally. But, dude, when you're the only fucking beaner on network television and there's, you know, fucking thousands of young guys trying to be you, there's Pablo Francisco's, there's Gabriel Iglesias, there's all these young kids that, you know, emulate you, that want to be like you, and you fucking tell them to their face, yeah. I don't want you to succeed because you're Hispanic, that's that's He's like the up. El Howard Osterno <laughs> of the Spanish community. <laughs> but, but, you, but you guys know what that's like. Hoo hoo, hoo. hoo, hoo Rabino. <laughs> <laughs> they are ripping me off. Tell them, Frederico. <laughs> tell them, Frederico, would you please? To be tell them. So I don't know where it comes from. And I've tried really hard to be like really cool and nonchalant about it. Yeah. I really have. But last week when this when we were just talking about comics and this guy goes, oh, yeah, he was in here a couple months ago and he said something bad about you. And I was like, fuck, man. One, one other thing he said was that you were walking around watching his act. Of course, I watch comics when I'm at the comedy store. That's but, what I do. But then you had turned it around as if he was walking around well, he watching has to watch you. My act. He has to watch my act. Or if he doesn't watch my act, how does he know I steal? Uh, I don't know. I'm just throwing out what was said. That's my he point. says he's got on video yeah. uh, when you were saying that he was watching your act that he actually had left, like really quickly. He barely saw. I know he has me on videotape. And he says the reason he says that uh, uh, that you're ripping off people's act is because it's some one. It's something that's known all around the L.A. comedy community. Whatever. Quote, quote the joke. He didn't. That's it. He was pissed off in here. Dude, he was mad. He grabbed uh, track two. He was actually pissed off. This motherfucker. He actually called me a fat fuck, I think. Yeah, let's, you know, let's, you know let's what, listen. though? He's an animal. Yeah. Isn't oh, he? Oh, my God. That's yeah. why he I don't want to fuck. He's huge, dude. <laughs> he, I could put you in a head. He'll fucking kill. kick my ass. You ever seen with that, like, extreme fighting shit and, yeah. like... That's why cool. he is so scary. That's why I'm going to take Joe Rogan's side. Cause, <laughs> yeah, cause, uh, you fucking cause, fag. Uh, you cause fucking I, fag. Because I like my life. <laughs> no, it's, just fucking, <laughs> it's all right. But hey, one I'll phone call. Rogan's side because no, no, no. I like my life and he <laughs> might not pass the right. test. I don't know your, I don't know your fighting the... resume. I know his. But can, I don't need a fight? fighting resume. I, I, got, I got Puerto Rican back up here. All right, wait. Well, let me think, uh, let me think about this now. See, yeah. right here I could, I could say, mi gente latina. <laughs> Un güero me está jodiendo. Vengan acá. I'm telling you. In an attack. I'm, in just, an attack. I'm just telling you right now, dude. <laughs> Here come the low You guys riders. are going to get phone Jesus. calls. He's got sleeper cells. <laughs> <laughs> right now they're going, wake up, wake up. Right now, if you listen closer, you could hear the click of a hundred switchblades. No, 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 no. Right, let's, Wake is, up! We have heard, finally, the sound of action! <laughs> here's another clip. Here, here's calls. another clip of uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, so my cameraman happened to be there the day oh, Carlos is, okay. claims right. that I was watching him the, from the stage. And instead, what we have is me on stage and him watching me. Pacing around the room, watching me. For, he, the guy imitates everyone, including me, all the time. He steals from everyone, whether it's George Lopez or Paul Mooney or old Richard Pryor albums. The guy's a fucking idiot. And all he does is rehash other people's shit or rewrite other people's shit. You know, you do a joke about going to the fucking zoo, whatever it is. And right. if it kills, he'll do a joke about going to the zoo and just rewrite your shit. He's a weak-minded fucking simpleton, and he doesn't <laughs> know that yeah, people know. know he's a weak-minded simpleton. Hey, it's getting uncomfortable in here. <laughs> that, oh, my God. That's, by the way, Kick one, up the of my, one of my most uh, sought-after bits, my going to the zoo bit. It's famous 
around the country. No, it really is. Call people up and ask them, hey, what's Carlos's number one bit? It's not putting the stocking over my head and pulling it back. It's, it's not the Asian thing or the whole. It's when he went to the zoo. Holy shit. That fucking bit about going to the zoo was hellacious. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. That, the, the thing that fascinates me about this whole situation is it's began, so personal yeah. that I can't from, from just him, see let, this. Let's get one thing. I have not uh -huh. talked shit about the guy. I've never said anything personal about him. I never will. I, I, I don't I don't feel the need to demean other guys in our industry. All right, industry. fair enough. I haven't heard you ever attack the guy personally. Right. I, but there is such this personal thing that he has right. that he's made vo that he's vocalized toward you right like like <laughs> wow that was that was very personal yeah I, I don't know what dude I swear to god I don't know what it is yeah and, and by the way he'll tell you that we were at the comedy store at the same time obviously the evidence is there mm -hmm. he's never come up to me and said hey man I got a fucking problem with you you do this you do that I, I would address it. I don't think any comics do that. You're all a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> I, no, no. I got. I actually got an email from a guy in Boston and says I'm doing this joke and somebody says it's like a joke you did, and I read the joke and I said no, it's not. Go ahead and do it. But the guy sent me an email because someone said that's yeah. an Adam Ferrara joke. It was my email. It was you? Yeah. It was my Bob <laughs> Ross painting bit. You, you son of a bitch. You bastard. 1988. 1988. <laughs> you stole my Bob Ross <laughs> painting bit. And gave it on to the couch. And gave it away. This is a true story, actually. What? There's, he gave, there's a little something going on between I, well, No, two. we were... We, <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, really? Sitting this on is the couch. You're sitting on, around Great. one of those afternoons Call drinking. Call him a fat fuck. You fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you are a simpleton motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, my you, real name is Ned. You fake Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you pasta-eating motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, yeah. You really it. don't like calzones. <laughs> yeah, you're not Latino. <laughs> he's not Italian. Hello. Oh. Tell this Your name story. is Adam Hindenburg, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we're just hanging around, and uh, uh, Bob Ross, we used to watch Bob Ross paint, mm -hmm. and uh, he was telling some story one day, and I found it fascinating about how he paints these nice, happy trees and scenes now because he saw a lot of bad things when he was in Vietnam. Right. So I just got the idea that it was hysterical that this guy was in Vietnam, and he's got his little afro, and he's painting happy scenes and rabbits and stuff, when in the Nam... He's probably in the shit, you know, Charlie in the bushes, and, and it would be funny to see him have a Vietnam flashback as he's painting these things instead right. of a happy tree. And there, we put a little Agent Orange on the picture. <laughs> what's in the tree? A happy rabbit? No, that's Charlie. Okay, now we got to set fire to the hooch over here in the corner. <laughs> and, and it just kind of was one of those things. And... um uh, we were hanging out, and Adam had just got started getting uh, rolling in comedy. Still doing open mic nights. And wanted to do the, the bit. Mm -hmm. I was like, fine, take it. You know, I, where's my outlet? Uh, uh, the tin knockers on the job site I was uh, going to that day. So he takes it, and that was the end of it. Until I turn on SNL one night, and who was on there? Uh, what was his name? No, it was the Joey Cola. Joey Cola. Yeah. Was on Saturday Night Live. He was? Yeah. When did Joey do Saturday Night Live? He was on SNL one night because I was watching it, and he mm -hmm. was one of the comedy guests that came out. I think it might have been one of those nights they had to throw someone off, and he was like there, so they put him on. Right. And I'm watching, and I see Bobby start doing my bit <laughs> to a T. Not even one of those, it might be the zoo bit, it might not be the zoo bit. You know, your famous zoo bit. Yeah, it's it incredible. Could, You've heard it. Right. It's amazing. It wasn't even that. It was <laughs> the same lines and everything, and I'm like, Oh, my dear sweet Christ, he's doing my bit. Mm. So I called up Adam, and, and, and I asked him, and you're already laughing, saying, Oh, I traded him for no, some I other didn't. bit. You told me that you talked to him and traded him a bit. No, I didn't. You were told what is it? I'll give you a bit for a scooter. Got him, got him, need him, got him, need him, need him, got him. Sunday night to try out the bit. Joey was up before me doing a Bob Ross painter bit. Joey was an established comic. I was an open micer. I'm like, well, fuck, I can't do the same premise. He, no one's going to believe that, you know, Anthony, no one knows Anthony Cumia from the couch. That's so right. So I said, look, I got this other bit. He goes, do it. He goes, well, I've been doing this for a while. I said, all right, because my bit was about him being in Vietnam. And he goes, see, because no one knew he was in Vietnam. Well, yeah, but he was doing the painter bit. So that's how Joey did it. But I never gave Everyone him the Everyone did words. a Bob Ross painter bit. That, but mine was the uh, idea of bringing him to Vietnam. That's what I said. That's what. That's the Joey best part. That's what you gave him. 
Everyone was going happy trees, happy trees. No one was going, look, Charlie. You're watching a 25-year relationship break up in front of your eyes. They've been friends you for 25 fucking years. fucking ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> ignorant <laughs> motherfucker. Fuck Simpleton. You, you ripped me off. Nazi cocksucker. <laughs> You're you not even ass. really Italian. You anti-Semitic freak. <laughs> you did that fucking Olive Garden commercial. You're not a real Italian. <laughs> yeah. Hospitaliano. What does that even fucking mean? You were in a band called As Is that covered a Cat Stevens song. What? All right. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> now it's now this is personal. <laughs> now you're going to throw down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what Cat Stevens song? Oh, uh, which one did we cover? Wild what was World. that? Wild oh, World. Man. Oh god, yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, it was awful. I wish I wish I had an answer for you guys. I yeah. I really do. I, I really do wish I had an answer for you guys. And uh, uh, oh, his, his other big point, and this is one that now I got to come out and say I agree. I agree with Joe Rogan on this one. Yes, The Punisher. That wasn't me though. You oh, absolutely hold on. Hold on. gave yourself the name The Punisher. No, I did not. Hold on. I did not. Stop it. Hold on. Let's play the clip. It's really right. short. Sure. Okay. You Here's fucking the... asshole. <laughs> you asshole. Wait, wait. We'll get into it. Here's Joe Rogan. First of all, nobody calls that guy The Punisher. They call him the phony Mexican <laughs> or they call him Carlos Menstelia. That's all anybody calls him. If you go to the comedy store, that's what you hear. Oh, dude, the phony Mexican's here. Or <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Menstelia's here. The and what happens, Mexican. everybody gets nervous because Carlos sits in the back of the room with a fucking tape recorder and watches people's sets. Wow, with a tape recorder. <laughs> at least give me credit for learning your shit, dude. If I'm, <laughs> at least, <laughs> come on, guy. I'm not going to go in there with a tape recorder. I'm better than that. I mean, I didn't cross the border by telling them I'm crossing on this day at this time. Wouldn't you that be great in. if you brought in a court stenographer to no, sit in front fucking, of the stage and just do. take down everybody's act? <laughs> that would be, that's really that would be fucking Holy hilarious. Shit. No, no, no. Now, the Punisher. It's, Who gave you the name The Punisher? It was the, it was the comedians, and it's a fun name to have. And now, that's something. And stuff. Now, now, Joe is saying that comics are such self-centered dickwads. <laughs> they don't want anyone to sound cooler than, than they are except, or that they, they uh, uh, portray yeah. them. Except be. when you have a TV show and you can give them work. Those are the people that are calling you the Punisher? No, no, no. I'm saying once you have a TV show, young uh -huh. comics don't talk shit about you anymore. Like, uh, like, I'll give you an example. There were four comedians that told me the story about what happened. Uh -huh. Four comedians. And I called each of them up and they were like, Please, please don't involve us in this shit, dude. <laughs> please don't get us involved in this shit. Do not mention my fucking name. Just do, fucking please do not, you know, because they're scared because somebody can give them a job. So you couldn't get a young comic that, that might think any comic could give them a job to talk shit. Yeah. They're going to, you know, they're going to shoot themselves in the foot. Now, so I haven't heard, that. I haven't heard Carlos Menstelia, and I haven't heard the That phony, was pretty funny, The though. phony Mexican is great. <laughs> like, you're sitting there with a, a drawn-on big mustache <laughs> and, like, a, one big of those sombrero. big sombrero <laughs> from Sears. Like, just everything looks fake. An inflatable donkey. Oh, I, and I walk oh, on stage going, bring the women to me. <laughs> I will rip and peel it, the village. That's my favorite is the phony Mexican. <laughs> poncho on. But the Punisher is too cool a name yeah, but for that's anyone why, to have. But that, that's why I put it on hats and stuff. You when they introduced me, When they introduced me, the Punisher of comedy, I swear to God, it's the funniest shit ever. I, and the, the hats, the Punisher hats, yeah. big sellers. Big, big money makers. Oh, do you for me. understand there was a movie out and a comic book named The Punisher? No, 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 but it's not The Punisher. It's Punisher. It's not actually protected. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? I swear to God. The dude, Punisher is the Punisher, Punisher. But Punisher, different. Son yeah. of a bitch. And I spell it like a beaner, so there's a couple of letters missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I just cannot get past the fact that it's too cool a nickname. People give other people nicknames. Stinky, fatso, I got hard asshole, on I heard douchebag. It. But Punisher is like, God damn. I got hard on when I heard it. Yeah? Yeah, a friend of mine comes up and goes, dude, all those comics just said you're the Punisher. And I went, I'm stealing that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I pulled out my tape recorder and went, Punisher. Oh, there it is. Pun <laughs> Note to self, refer to self as Punisher. <laughs> That's exactly Call what I did. Call Hat Company, start production of merchandise. <laughs> Find out what is trademark. <laughs> it was great, dude. It was God great. Damn.
I, I I don't I don't know. I wish I I wish you know what I'm saying. I wish I could I could point it out and yeah. I could address it. I wish there was like a way to say. Yeah, it's definitely hey, something personal there. This is that. Maybe it's the comedy star. Maybe you ever watch Fear Factor? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. It's a Maybe fucked up show. Casa, Casa but I hate. You see, here's what I hate. I hate the fact that, you know, I can't really engage in this. You know what I'm saying? Like it, to a certain point, because it's like it, there's no reason for it. But yeah. part of, part of me, you know what I mean? Part of me does want to. Part of me is like. Well, of oh. course. Part of me is like, and then the other part is like, there's, you know what? My mom always taught me, if you ever put somebody down and make yourself better, it's mm-hmm. because you're not as good as you think you are, you want to be. And I just kind of go Raised back to that. Raised in Switzerland, your mom probably had a lot of wise <laughs> saying. <laughs> right. yeah. Actually, like, it wasn't Switzerland. It was France. It wasn't we were, France. Yeah, we were on our way out of Germany at the time. <laughs> all right. And the boots, the boots were marching behind us. And she said, you know, don't, right. don't Carlos, be Carlos, come on. We're going to France. They're going to surrender. We'll find a nice home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now now the, we'll, now make, the, we'll, we'll make some wine. Now the listeners are saying uh, you did say something bad about Rogan. Who? Uh, he bashed Rogan on the obscure radio show. You have the audio. He bashed Rogan. I didn't bash Rogan. I said, he says that I steal. He walks around saying I'm not Mexican. And then when they the only thing that could sound bad is when they said, why do you think these comedians do it? And I said, because they're jealous, because I'm funny, because they got nothing on me. That mm. is the only thing to be construed. But that's me just hypothesizing upon right. why this is going on. Because I have no idea. But I never... Find the audio where I say Joe Rogan sucks, right, or that Joe Rogan's not funny, or that Joe Rogan's a piece of shit. Find that, because I never said it. Right. Well, we, we will cut up what you just said and make it sound like you're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and when Joe Rogan comes back to New York, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, and I know you would, you fucker. <laughs> all right, and then you, you'll mix it in with the painting. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I'll be at the zoo painting little pictures of Charlie. <laughs> the zoo pit. <laughs> I was at the zoo, and that's Charlie in my yeah. painting. <laughs> All right, uh, we might have the audio. I don't uh, know. Let's, let's listen to this from the Frank Show in Arizona. It's true. You, you're right, actually, Frank. It was Joe Rogan to Dennis Leary, yeah. and, and Dennis Leary actually came out and called him out on it, Yeah. and, and Joe just cowered. Yeah, why, why is Joe all of a sudden de- determined that he's the arbiter of comedy and he's going to put everybody in check? What's up with Joe? Because he, I don't know, man. It's it's insecurities. It's like, look, when I go on stage, okay, this weekend, for example, I'm going on stage with 11 other comics. Okay. Okay. We're doing 12,000 seats in L.A., 20,000 seats in San Jose, California. Right, right. All right. So we're doing this huge venue. I'm, I'm telling you right now that from a competitive standpoint, I want to be the funniest guy on that stage. Just like I want to kick everybody's ass. It's just like everybody in radio that does morning radio. They right. want to be the funniest show, the most popular right. show. Oh, show. Shut up. It's but not at about the you. the end of the night, yeah. that doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. Because it's all about putting the effort forth. I think the force is with you, Carlos. <laughs> don't listen to that Joe Rogan. Yeah, I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really see the... Uh, I never... I never. I haven't heard any bad... I, I have not heard any bad mouthing. No. But I don't. That's my point. And that's why it's kind of laughable. Like, what's, I don't know. Uh, uh, John from Jersey. Hey, didn't Sam Kinison <clears throat> do the Bob Ross Vietnam bit on HBO about 18 years ago? <laughs> I don't know. I, Did you I, steal it from I him? I came up with it. Wait a minute. 18 years Wait ago. A Wait a minute. Yeah. He stole it and you, then accused you of stealing. I, you stole it. Let me tell you, you something. Douchebag. Unless Sam was at Bob Ross's taping of that fucking show, because I was sitting there when he was doing the Vietnam episode. Okay. When he first brought up that he was in Vietnam. Oh, that bit you. was fresh off the griddle. <laughs> <laughs> you flipped it over and turned it into a That's pancake. That's right. It was, it was raw my batter. pancake. It was raw, it was raw batter before batter. you got it. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Dave in Philly. Dave, what's up? Hey, guys, what's up? We're talking to the oh, Punisher. <laughs> no, Punisher. The Punisher. The trade. Punisher. Yeah. Oh, get Punisher. Sued? I'm sorry. Punisher, Punisher Ned. Punisher, Punisher in Ned. studio. Yes, go ahead, Dave. Hey, um, one of what's strange about Joe Rogan is the fact that he says that these giant apes exist. And I went online, you know, did a little research on it. And he's the type of guy that believes everything he reads online. The and Bondo the Bondo chimp? Yeah, yeah, the Bondo chimp. And do you want to know what? You know, I look at this incident here between him and, you know, and I'm on Tyler's side. I really don't feel that, you know, he's doing this shit and... You know, in this Bondo Kemp issue, I mean, God, I mean, who? I mean, don't you think that there would have been a discovery? You know, missing. He's going off on the uh, Bondo Chimp thing. Yeah. Well, Rogan was in here and he was talking <laughs> about <clears throat> the Bondo Chimp, some kind of giant 
chimpanzee. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of uh, linked the to, giant ape yeah. that does but, body work. Uh, to, Joe, <laughs> yeah, to Joe Rogan's defense, he had just finished a pot lollipop <laughs> uh, when he did it. So, you know, it might have been a little iffy on the fact well, that... Well, wanted to defend you, and I don't know... But well, after this whole thing about it, there, so you know what? This is perfect, because Rogan got his say... Carlos gets his say, and it's uh, yeah. up to, you know, whatever. But but for all you guys out there, seriously, that are taking this shit seriously, you need to get a fucking life. I'm being very serious. You need to understand that Carlos Mencia and Joe Rogan are fucking comedians. We tell fucking jokes. We're not curing cancer. We're not uniting the world. We're not getting Jews and Palestinians to come together. Mm. We're not getting Puerto Ricans to stop raping chicks in Central Park. <laughs> We're not doing any of that stuff. We're just telling fucking jokes. Don't take any of this shit so seriously. None of it. I'm serious. Well, Joe Rogan, he said that there's a giant chimp and that's bullshit. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. <laughs> oh. The capital hey, of South Dakota hey. is Pierre. I am very offended that you're not playing German shit. You better go in the yeah, fucking archives right now and All find right, we'll some German some, shit we'll get to play. Some you get a march, it. damn it. We'll find Die a march Heil, for you. Heil, Heil, uh, <laughs> I saw Carlos Mencia sitting in the back of the comedy store, singing with his buddies with big pewter beer steins, rocking them back and forth in his hand. I saw it. Let's go to Stephen, Kentucky. The phones are just ridiculous, so we got to We just got to go with that's this a little fine, bit longer. We'll, that's fine. We'll Trying to move on to something else. Go ahead, Steve. It's all good. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Ned. Yes. Uh, you said you and uh, this Joe Rogan used to work out together. Uh, yeah, a long, long time ago when he first came into a town, like in the early '90s, when he did yeah. this TV show called Hardball on Fox. That's like his first TV show. We we yeah. were actually friends. We'd go work out. I'd hang out at his house. He's a really good pool player. I'm a shitty pool player, but I try. So we used to go hang out before. We we were actually, you know, decent friends. Yeah, well, uh, my question is, you know, it sounds to me like he's got some issues. Uh, did you ever date his wife or his sister or mother? <laughs> no, I never banged any of his friends. <laughs> well, now that would give him a viable issue. <laughs> yeah, but if I, I had... That was... <laughs> I mean, like he's got some problems there or something. I mean, hey, you're comedians, you tell jokes. Uh, you know, I drive a truck, uh, and I hear a joke that might apply, you know, say, like, uh, to, to bikers or something, and you change it to fit truck driver. You know, this truck driver said this or this, whatever. Right. Yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, but sometimes they don't work. You can't say, how do you babysit a Polish person? You wet their lips and stick them to the wall. That doesn't yeah. work. That's the truth. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Texas. Mike, what's up? <laughs> Should have went with the Velcro on the ceiling and have him jump on the bed. Just okay. wanted to tell El Presidente Mencia that he misheard them, that he was saying, they were saying the Pinocher, not the Punisher. Oh, that would be funny. See, that be funny. That's, a good, that's a good line. Now, what is that? Here's, here's what it is. Panocha for pussy. Panocha yeah. is pussy in Spanish. Oh, so they were calling you pussy. <laughs> so, Panocha is a version of Panocha. <laughs> All right, maybe you just. By the way, it. I don't steal, but you're not a comedian, so fuck you. I'm taking that <laughs> one. <laughs> you know what? I'd buy a pussy hat. <laughs> the funny thing is, on the five freeway, in between. <laughs> In between, that's what it says, Panocha. In between L.A. and San Jose, there is actually a road called Panocha Road. And really? then Little Panocha Road. Little Pussy Road. And, and everybody that speaks Spanish just laughs their fucking ass off. <laughs> and white people have no idea because it's like Pussy and Little Pussy Road. Uh, yeah. It's oh, the okay. funniest shit ever. I was wondering if it was a, s <laughs> a six-lane highway. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, wow. A couple more here. Mike in Delaware. Mike? What's up? Hey. I have a question. Yeah. He was on the other radio show and talked with an attitude about Rogan. He said that he didn't sit in the back of the room. He doesn't listen to him. Rogan was coming in and out listening to his bit. I ne no, I never said I don't listen to other comics. I never I never said right. that. When you I go to the comedy the, store, the listen, when I go to the comedy store, like every other comic, I don't know if you know this, but a comedy store is where, like, comics hang out and do 15 minutes each. We all we all hang out and watch. That's what we do. We're comedians. You know what I mean? 
And uh, so I, I never said that I don't that I don't watch. I said I don't have time when I'm doing 50 weeks a year to go hang out and try to steal people's shit yeah, if I, I wanted to. I've been to the comedy store dozens of times, and these guys are all there at the same time waiting to go up. Of course you're sitting there watching. Yeah. There's nothing else to do. The, the room's dark. You can't even play cards or anything. And, and, and you're sitting there watching and waiting for the light to go on so you can go on next. Because mm -hmm. let's be honest. Comics are pieces of shit, and we want to go on. And more than anything, you see comics back there just waiting for that light to go on. Yeah. And when that light goes on, that's it. That's it. We're like, Com I'm next. Every, every comic's intro should be, our next act has a void in his life he fills with the adulation of strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome, Daddy Never Hugged Me, searching for some type of meaning in his hard existence. Please the laugh or he'll kill himself. <laughs> he could be German, could be Mexican. We think he's Honduras. Let's we know Ms. Ned, but it's Carlos Mencia. Da, 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 yeah. I was at the zoo the other day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesus. Uh, Flea from Cringe Humor. Go ahead, Flea. Hi, Carlos. What's yes. up? No, I, I, What's just, I, I want to preface this by saying Flea is on the line here going, put me on the air with this guy. That's right. I did say that. Carlos, you are unfunny. You're a hack. Nobody likes you from any website. I'm from Cringe Humor, and that's not even the point. Wagtag, well, Nobody likes you. You Flea. are unfunny. Flea. Flea. Why don't, what? You, you can't deny that the guy is funny and, and he's successful. Well, how can you say n no one likes no him? No denying that he's successful, but a lot of people who are on Comedy Central just successful. picked up his second season of Mind of Mencia. He's going to sell out uh, Caroline's all this weekend. No so, so, no so where does this no one, no one likes him? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. You could say you don't, don't like him. You could say uh, the gang at CringeHumor.net doesn't like him. But to but say no one likes him, that, it's kind of silly. I mean, he doesn't even have to defend that. It's a small niche on the West Coast that likes him. It is that. I just, by the way, I just sold out in. Uh, I'm selling out in New York, and I just. Uh, I sold. I'm selling. I'm already sold out next week in Richmond, Virginia, and last week I sold out in Charlotte, North Carolina. That is a niche of the care. Southwest, I'm right? Tell you what I think. <laughs> in that area. You're just well, then, but that's but fine. Play. I never, I never said. Also. Play. I'm you trying play to. Beaner every fucking five minutes and nobody cares. Play. I'm trying to help you out. Your argument is ridiculous when you say no one cares. That's not. That's not true. The guy's very successful. He's been for many years, and uh, this Comedy Central show is blowing up. You can't say that's that no one likes him. That's stupid. No, it's true. There are people that like him, but it's that small niche. It is that group. You're going to call Chris the... Rock next and tell him to stop saying nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yeah, but at least when Chris Rock does it, it's funny. You don't put the, Carlos what, does it. But don't, don't listen to me. Don't watch my show. I'm not forcing me down anybody's throat. Is this is what new, you guys uh, don't fucking understand. Is that the new ask. promo Comedy Central's running from you? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Don't listen to me. The, the promos were, I think, uh, uh, we gave them a voice. We're getting lawyers. We know people are going to. Half my show is reading hate mail. If you don't like my shit, right. don't. But, Wait, have but you, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't fucking call and call me a spick and then pretend that race isn't an issue. Don't fucking come in here and go, it doesn't matter, fucking spick. Obviously, it fucking matters. You're racist, and I don't give a shit that you are. Go watch whoever you want to watch. Are you I never be racist. No, somebody Please. earlier called. But have you watched Mind of Mencia? I've seen it once, and I didn't like it, so I don't watch it. And right. that's that's awesome. Well, that's what you should say. Good for you. Other people are, and they're yeah. But to it. me, it's just it's tiresome material. It's oh, hack voices. It's not. Be funny. nice and just say it's not your cup of tea. It really isn't my cup of tea, but you know what? It's also not a lot of other people's. And you know what? It's this. It's just. All right, Flea. Fine. What, what, Flea? What is what is your favorite uh, comedy show? Oh, that's a good question. What's my favorite. I actually don't watch TV. Uh, but, you hang but up on this fucking you asshole. Once. Say, see, this is the kind of shit I'm talking. That's yeah. why I don't like responding to this All stuff. Right, Ryan. It's stupid. Yes. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, uh, I had a question. You said that uh, you know Joe's just starting shit with you, but when you went on that radio station, all the stuff you said was fake. You made all that shit up. Uh, the only thing you could say I made up is a story that a couple of comics told me about, you know, making, telling him. That's the only thing. Everything else? Joe never paced back and forth in the back of the room like you said. Dude, if Joe never watched me perform, how could he know that I steal shit? Joe, after that show that night, Joe went right outside. He went back in for like one minute. You made it sound like he was pacing back, back and forth. That's why Joe got probably so upset. 
that you're just making up a bunch, a bunch of shit. That and I he do watches, know a he comedian watches me perform? that you stole from. Okay. And I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to tell okay. you who he is. <laughs> All right, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not going to tell you who it is. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't end with a... Uh, this, uh, this is too much fun. It really is just a no, mess. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. And uh, listen, like I said, for all you guys that want to check, call KBPI. It's a station in Denver. It's called the Locker Room Morning Show. And ask them if Joe hasn't been saying negative shit about me stealing for years. It's just finally I got pissed off. I finally got pissed off and was like, uh, you know, I'm tired of this guy fucking badmouthing me every time somebody says, hey, what do you think of Carlos Mencia? Oh, he fucking steals. Yeah, ask me what I think of Joe Rogan. What do you think of Joe Rogan? I think he's a funny guy. I don't, personally, he doesn't get along with me. He's got a problem with me. I got no problems with but him. that's boring. That's it. <laughs> we want to hear you say something. He just doesn't want to get in a grapple hole <laughs> yeah, really. on the stage of uh, the comedy store. <laughs> you know what? Because if there was, if if I really disliked his comedy or personal or something, I I would. I I really would. Yeah. But I I don't. I don't I, I don't hate on other comics. Well, obviously you like his material. It's given you a good living for many years. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. His material. Listen, if you add the word beaner to his stuff, holy shit. Well, Mexicans just, eat it up. I'm going to look forward to the Azul bit <laughs> when I come down to see you. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what the guy's problem is. I really don't. Yeah. Hey, look, look at the difference in demeanor. I'm mm -hmm. laughing. I'm ha he, dude, he was in here pissed. And that was after the pot lollipop. So. Yeah, there was a little pot uh, involved. Pot lollipop. Someone is like yelling at me on the instant feedback. The Jew from Whackback. Hey, Opie, isn't motherfucking Howard Stern popular? We never questioned his popularity, you ass. We questioned if he's actually doing an entertaining show anymore. See what we I never, mean? We never questioned uh, Howard Stern's popularity. Yeah, but I think that's what the guy's getting at, is that you can be popular and not funny. Like you were telling that guy, look, Carlos has a show. Okay. He got picked up, blah, 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 but, you know, he could still be popular. And what you were saying is, look, he's done that, and that guy's pointing out Howard. But, no, it's different, because Flea's like saying that uh, no one finds Carlos, you know, funny. Right, that would be like us saying no one finds, finds Howard, Howard entertaining. And that would sound and completely ridiculous. Fair. Right. We we uh we question how he treats his uh his his own people, mm -hmm. fellow employees. Uh It's like saying everyone thinks there's a Bondo monkey. And we've we've uh we've <laughs> <I> also <think laughs> fucking bombing with the Bondo monkey here. <laughs> we've also stated Tanking. we've I th also stated I think that, that there's we, one. That he's not trying anymore. You know, he's still, you know, he's still putting on an entertaining show because it's, you know, the numbers show. But we don't think he's trying anymore. He doesn't no. give a fuck. He doesn't give a shit. Bondo mm -hmm. monkey hangs out with the chupacabra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this civilization? I think he's a found... fake Jew, Howard. <laughs> they call him phony Jew. <laughs> For Jew. <laughs> For Jew. All right, we should take a break. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to still hang, Carlos? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> and I, I, I love you guys. You, I've always loved what? you guys. I forgive you, Adam. And I, for trading. Well, these two have been eyeing each other since that. I got a cross trading. My I got a blast from the sandwich. Yeah. Your, uh, your, and your a ex producer dog. was actually in San Jose <laughs> at that big theater thing that we did. Yeah. So we were talking about you the whole time. It was awesome. Good old Rick. He's doing all right, I hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After he got fired from here, he's at that station over there. No, yes. Well, he's, he's got fired uh, a couple times. He's got to be a good boy, man. Because <laughs> they sent him to the capital of homosexuals and Asians, two of his favorite targets. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, believe me. Uh, we have what? more songs of him bragging on gay people and Asians. Well, he's already he's already in trouble with the Asian community. Oh, yeah. He didn't do anything, and he was in trouble yeah, just, just for moving up, there. And they, they're, on, they're on, like, the websites going, Godzilla's coming. <laughs> yeah. well, that's how they picture Rick. Blowing fire out of his mouth and Stepping on their building. He come fast. Oh. He come from Ooh. a East Coast. <laughs> All right, Gary Hoey, you should get us out of here for uh, a while. Wait a minute. Make sure .com. before he starts playing, uh, Carlos' tape recorder is going to interfere with his uh, amp. Yeah, turn so off if your you tape recorder. Turn off recorder. your tape recorder. <laughs> I apologize. Hold on. Let me get stenographer. Get out of the room. Get out of the goddamn room. We actually had I got people. Busted. We actually had people email us saying that you stole something from us. I'm going to start this by saying, obviously, it, that did not happen. Remember when you were in here? And we yeah, talk? yeah. You guys sh turned me on to the idea of the guy that shit in right. the... Uh, and what we did was we gave him an award. 
Right, that's all it was. It yeah, was, we hmm. we gave him a Titi award for for uh, you yeah, know the guy that they found in the uh, in, in the porta potty, in the porta potty, yeah. looking right. at girls as right. they were taking dumps. Right, you were here. We had a lot of fun with that, and then it ended up on your show. Yeah. But of course, something like that should end up on a a, a comedy show. Yeah, but and 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 it was, and compl- I and it was completely different. We just gave him an award. No, I, I understand. I'm not saying you did it. Yeah. it's just this is how people think. And they did the story, I think, on a Weekend Update on SNL and the Daily Show. So it's. It was like, a, it was an AP those story. Motherfucker stole it's it from me. Fucking stole it, sons of bitches. There are times that there's just obvious shit. Like uh, Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise are having a baby, right? Right. So I was watching uh, Leno and Letterman last night. They both had the exact same joke. So who ripped off who, or was it that the obvious thing? Yeah, but Le- but Leno's not really Mexican. <laughs> uh, true. He's not. <laughs> nope. You know, he's that a was German. That was the only t- timely shit. joke Letterman had, and then he's talking about uh, crime in New York City and rats. It's like, Jesus, dude. Wasn't Carson doing those jokes before he went out to L.A.? It's like, <laughs> it's like those are old New York bits. Get out of your compound and walk around a while and uh, and see what's going on in New York. Yeah, le- well, you won't hear the so comics. Out of touch. You won't hear either of these comics bash oh, Letterman. It's okay, I'm just, I'll, you know, whatever. Bash Letterman? Are you? Uh, it, it, what did I say earlier? You won't get young guys to talk shit about me. You won't get me to talk shit about Letterman. No. He, he still refers to hookers hanging out in Times Square. It's like, have you been down there in the last decade? Yeah, it's clean. There's, he, there's not a, a hint of a of a hooker down there anymore. Yeah, no, it's, it's a shame. I couldn't find one last night anywhere. Ah. But it's it, it it's crazy. It's, Where are they? It's Where are the hookers at? It's surprising to me that he obviously has Ooh. writers or he has uh, writers around him. You would think they they would you know be brave enough to go. Uh, Dave, the hookers are so they're right. not there anymore. Right. He had a great the mayor still a works, beam but joke. We last should, night. He should hire my writers. Dude, my writers, holy shit, when they write something that's funny, they do not fucking let it go. I mean, I had to say a couple of times, like right before we taped, guys, we need to write a different fucking joke for that. But it's funny. Well, when you have the show of Lookner, you know, the mind of Lookner, you can put it on your fucking show. But it's a mind of Mencia. We need a different joke. These guys, oh my God, they yeah. like they cling to that shit. Well, if you ever really need an example guys, of pounding something into the ground, it's this program right here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking We're of which, pros. Mike from California. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, you guys are fucking great. You are blowing up out here in California. I put XM in all my work trucks, and I won't hire a fucking guy unless I listen to your fucking show. Thank you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> Hey, isn't that comedy? You gotta say the fucking F word. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, used to be a fucking Stern fan. Started listening to you guys. The guy's just not funny anymore. Um, and see it. And I've never listened to you, man. I gotta be honest. But uh, you haven't been very funny on the show today. And guys, I gotta call you out. You haven't played all the radio clips of him talking shit about Rogan, about how Rogan was standing backstage. You know, he said that shit. You guys should play that just to be fair. You know, I, I think Joe's a funny guy, and, you know, if I had to go to war, obviously, who do you want on your side, right? So, oh, yeah. What, and, uh, real way, war guys, with fighting and violence? Oh, seriously, if, you, if, you, if there's a real war, you want me, because I got much more backup. Much more backup. Yeah, I think Nazis Joe could take them single-handedly. Nazis are spicks, man. Huh? Nazis are spicks. Yeah, the Beaners. I'm telling you. <laughs> Nazis and Spicks, that's a good combination. Yeah, that's who you want, dude. That's who Carl's is going to bring to the fight. German Mike, here's the deal. That's right. Beaner schnitzels. Mike, we, yeah. can, we could go I on. Good. I'll we, give you that. We could, yeah. go on, we could go on for hours. What are yeah. we supposed to do? Uh, replay Joe Rogan's uh, entire appearance? Phone, we, we, hold on. That's what, that's what I was going to say. We did tell <laughs> Joe that Carl's was coming in because when that was all going down, lucky us, we're like, whoa, Carl's is coming in within a week or ten days of uh, that appearance. I forget. It, it probably a little over a week. So I said, Joe, you got the hotline. Get up early and call if you want. If it's a big deal. I think we did a, a good enough job, like uh, confronting uh, Ned, <laughs> Punisher, and uh, <laughs> and and uh, you know we played we played some highlights and we uh, we asked you know we asked Anthony asked some tough questions. But every I questions did. I wasn't going to ask. Him. Everything was answered. Yeah. By, by I mean, the way, how yeah, far do you want us to go with this? I'll if Joe Rogan cares that much, he'd call our show and uh, and 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 go at it with them. I don't know what to tell you. Thank yeah, you, I'll sir. Be looking for you at the Yankee game. We got you last night out here in Cali. Yeah, well, it's all tied up back to the stadium. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll be listening. Thanks a lot. All right, Mike. But yeah, that little friggin' Chinese guy on the mound last night. Right. Oops. Well, it's weird because uh, you know now it looks like we're picking sides because now we got Carlson here. We did the best we can, and then when Joe shows up next time, we'll we'll kiss his ass and make you look stupid. So <laughs> I am not gonna. <laughs> 
I'm just fucking with you. Wait. You don't understand. This is see, like this is radio. Yeah. My I got some emails going, dude, fucking Opie hung out with you before. He didn't defend you and I was like, dude, that's radio. They're they're putting on it they're doing a show, you fuck. That's what they're supposed to do. I like when Rogan comes in and goes off like he did, and then to have you come in and answer it. That's great. That's all that's that's all we right? were looking for. Exactly. That's it. Do I Bravo. In the end exactly. do I in the end do I care? No. <laughs> Neither I do I. No. I Neither do I. Because here's the thing. It's like I haven't done any material. You know what I mean? We haven't done like the normal type of interview where you guys ask me some shit and then I go off on Hurricane Katrina victims and all that kind of stuff. You oh, know? Yeah. Some hurricane uh, material? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Right? Oh, oh, but that's oh, my point. Oh, so I haven't done any of that. So people that have never heard me are like, fuck, man. There's nothing funny about what's going on oh, in there. Oh, no. Yeah, Gary so they're Hoey. judging me by that. But Ga I don't give a Hold shit. Hold on. Gary Hoey, what's, the, what's your latest I'm album? Look at <laughs> the, new, the, the new album's called Monster Surf. <laughs> All right. In and, store now. All right. Uh, play us a little something going into break because when we get back. Chink in the painting. Hurricane Katrina material from That's what I want to I want to play something for Ned. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go, baby. More with Carlos Mencia in just a bit. He's playing Caroline's all this weekend here in New York City. Reich du schnell! We will take our Mercedes! We will go down the Champs Elysees. We will go to the zoo. This is my famous zoo joke. Look at the monkeys. Look at them. The big monkey. He's the big monkey. Bondo chimps. Giant monkeys. We will create giant apes. Bondo monkeys. Isn't that what they call Mexicans that work at an auto shop? Bondo monkeys! Bondo monkeys! <laughs> Stand those fenders, you bondo monkeys! Right, Fix that dead bondo uh, monkey! Right. We're turning your mics off. Danny's got an album. I'll give you a copy. No, you don't have to. I'll buy it. I'll, 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 I'll put some money in the fund for you. That's badass, dude. Always an Eskimo. Uh, and uh, Rick wants in. Rick, go ahead. Hey, uh... Carlos, so you might look at his eyes a little uh, closer. He might be wearing them brown contacts. <laughs> Are you wearing brown contacts, sir? You motherfucker. <laughs> you son of a bitch. How did you find that out? How did you find that Covering out? Covering up that blonde Can hair with the hair dye, too. Yeah. God damn. That great. I love the show. All right, thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Doug in Nebraska. Hey, Carlos, I love your stuff, man. Rogan sucks. Every, Rogan is good for one thing. He makes me turn the radio off whenever he comes on. Maybe he's just pissed because you actually have a comedy show, and he has to watch people eating fucking intestines. And what's your nationality, Doug? Uh, I'm a big, fat, white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something. I'm a big fat white guy. Here, here's something. Yeah, they took that Rogan stuff down from YouTube. Well, call us Mencia claim copyright. Yeah. I don't know should. how he could claim copyright, though. Gotta In California. It. You, you got to explain to everybody. No one knows what you're talking about. Okay. Really? Okay. No. Really? Uh, I mean, some of the faithful do. Well, Rogan and, um, you're right, Rogan and Mencia uh, don't like each other because Rogan's always accusing Carlos. Carlos is like, look, I mean, there's rumors that he's taking stuff. And, uh, you know, Rogan is very vocal about shit like that. He's smashed Dane. Rogan's a ballsy guy. Yeah. And uh, he uh, went after Carlos on stage, not physically, but verbally, on, on at the comedy store. And there's a comedy store. Carlos is sitting there on a stool, and Rogan is pretty ballsy because he has no mic, and him and Carlos are yelling at each other. And then someone hands Joe a mic, so he's accusing yep. him of stealing. And now uh, they're fucking Rogan. It was so funny because on Rogan's website they had this, and there's obnoxious Mexican music. And, like... In between clips, it goes na 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 na
Yeah, but I mean, maybe one of Rogan's uh, guys shot up, uh, shot it. Shot I'll it. tell you yeah. why. I'll tell you why. Because oh. they were showing footage from Mencia's performances that you're not allowed to show. Probably an HBO clip, stuff like that. You can't oh, show. Cut that out. Well, you know, he also in the state of California, you can't video someone without them knowing it. What? And even you if you're a part of it, even if you're a part of. What it. about public? That that's why they couldn't record. Um, uh, uh, Michael Jackson and the uh, Learjet, they had all those recordings, and they couldn't use them in the trial. Mm. In California, it's against the law. Who recorded them? Uh, the Learjet people. But uh, this guy, Joe, has a guy who um, follows him around and, and takes well, everything he does. Right now. Uh, Red Band. Yeah, what's up? What's hey. up? Not much. Actually, uh, he not only just uh, pulled that video, he had YouTube uh, cancel my whole account, and I lost all my videos. Oh, no. You know, yeah, he, he's playing hardball, and he got Rogan banned from the comedy store. Yeah, he did. I heard that. How did he do for, that? For what reason? Um, he told uh, he told uh, the owner or whatever, the manager, Mitchie. that he felt threatened, and even though that he was the one that... Uh, what happened is Joe got off stage, and uh, uh, he Carlos like bumped his chest when he walked by, and grabbed the microphone from the next comic and, and uh, called out Rogan and told him to come on stage and uh, started calling him, like, little bitch and all this Is that shit. how it went down? Um, and Rogan yeah. just yeah. fucking... Br yeah. Why? What, ha what happened is uh, Joe got off stage, and when uh, he was getting off, Mencia just bumped him, like, kind of like chest bumped him, and then got on stage and grabbed the mic from the next comedian and just started going off on Rogan, and then Rogan got on stage, and that's how the whole thing started. Here's how badly Rogan has affected Mencia. That Mencia knows that if he had to fight Rogan, Rogan would murder him. He, he, murder you know, him. And, and that's it, not he'd murder all of us. Anybody. And he knows that he has been so bothered by Ro like Rogan is affecting him he, on such a um, his masculinity on such a level. He, he's yeah. brutalizing him that he he had to bump. It's almost like I, I have to do something that I know I'm going to get killed for it. Yeah, you Even know what's amazing too. You know what's amazing with uh, Rogan? Like you said, he could kill. Any one of Anybody. us. Those fucking and, big dumb Boston hands. And, oh. Oh. and I mean, Sia was calling him a little bitch. He goes, "Yeah, you little bitch, you little bitch." Not once did Rogan bring anything physical into it. No. Not even verbally. He didn't even say like, "Look, I'll, I'll kick you. your ass," or yeah. "You know, I could beat you down." Or and he sure. kept it exactly where he wanted to kept. Yeah. You're you're doing this. I this is how I feel about you fucking you're doing this to other comedians, you're ripping this off or whatever. Whatever the argument is, he never brought it down to like no. and and he was being taunted by being called a little bitch. Yeah. That's something you turn around and go, Little bitch, I'll show you little bitch. Yeah. Why don't we step outside? Rogan or though, just smack him right there. Like, Rogan like a, kept the fucking thing exactly where he, he wanted it. Right it. on topic. Yep. He kept it on topic, Didn't and I got to admire about that. But little bitch is here's a little bitch is little bitch is all like if you're arguing with somebody, and that's all you have. Like what? Because Rogan's not a thief. Yeah. Um, Rogan's not a no. hack. No. And what are you gonna say, Rogan? You're dirty. I mean, there's there's really what are you gonna attack him on? Um, Follow you're successful. Said, oh, yeah. you just you met a lot of hot women. Yeah. You just met because I'm styling <laughs> on you. Either. That's what he should have said. <laughs> you just met because I'm styling on you. And play? bam, right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The greatest clip. thing is that after they got in this huge argument, or whatever, and Carlos just got beaten, and the crowd was just booing and everything. Joe decided to get off stage, and then Carlos tried to do a set after that, and wow. he couldn't even get through like half a joke and finally it was like 30 comics in the back of the room going na 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 wow. hey, hey good wow and then Mitzi uh, Shore called up and told him to get off stage it was that bad that's really humiliating for a comedian I mean it, for but, comedians it, this is I mean you know we're the only art form that does this shit to each other you know this is brutal We everybody Man, I, I, you know, if two magicians want to fight, you know, they don't do it on magicians. stage. In front of, you know, it's like we're the only entertainment group that does this to each other. Except it's, for rappers. <laughs> well, radio. well, yeah, well, well, they, they, they just shoot each they other. They just shoot each other. Well, radio guys, so radio uh, is uh, radio's kind of yeah that you're ripping me off thing. So, uh, yeah. That happens, but comics are just notorious. But, so, so Red Band, where are we at with this whole thing? Um, well, right now... We're By the way, you made a point about YouTube. They stink. They're so... Yeah, they you do. fuck up one time. Like, obviously, a lot of us are putting up videos all the time. And one... 
uh, one fuck up and they delete your whole account. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah, they gave me a warning when Rogan sent me all those uh, puke contest videos, and I was putting it up on Joe's website. Yeah, we got they, uh, we got we got fucked really <laughs> bad. We lost a yeah. couple hundred at, at at one time just because one of our videos, uh, you know, were were against their terms of service or whatever. And it's, that's yeah. just a horrible way to do business. That's why yeah. we're like uh, focusing more on Break. dot com and other uh, other video sites. But go ahead, Red yeah. Band. Exactly. But what, what one good thing is is that even though Joe got banned, the improv on Melrose gave him my uh, three nights starting them Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So they're going to take care of Joe supposedly. So, but uh, right now Joe uh, put out on his MySpace and his website. Um, uh, explaining the whole thing and giving the uh, phone number to the comedy store if you're if you want to call them and say thank you or whatever. <laughs> well, Rogan can't do the laugh factory, I guess, because the whole Jamie Dane thing. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, he's sure is uh, burning some bridges. But he's not. He's not burning. He's fucking just just speaking his mind, man. Yeah. He's, just, yeah. he's just attacking yeah. other comedians for for what he sees as his thievery and what is uh you know and Carlos has a better reputation for that. Uh, Red band. It's the video is up on Break. dot com right now as we speak. So. Yeah, Front yeah. Page, or ribbon.com has a whole bunch of links that that goes down. You yeah. know, the the joke in question though that 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 they had to bring up is one of the most beaten jokes out there about the uh, yeah. Mexican wall board. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and Ari's claiming it, and it's like you know. Yeah, I, but Ralph, Ralphie, the thing is though, is that Ari used to open up for um, oh. uh, Carlos when that first happened back in like 2004. Oh, really? Yeah, so See, I didn't know that. a joke. So, yeah, I, so I understand it's hacky, but, you know. Well, yeah, I, I've heard it on, like, Craig Ferguson. I heard him do it one right. night. Heard, that guy's terrific. <laughs> wow. <I'm... laughs> I heard uh, Jay Little do it. It's got an a easy joke in the news, but yeah, it's like, yeah. but uh, if Ari did it first and they were working together, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know. Yeah, that he, video that he even said, oh, Ari never opened up for me, but later in the video he goes, no, that was after that. Like, he just admit, got caught in a lie saying that he never uh, opened for him. All the comics on that tape that just were like, yeah, yeah. Uh, does he steal? Does he steal? And you point him, he's pointing right at him. Rogan's pointing right at him. And then uh, the comics like, uh, yeah, yeah, he does. You know, man, yeah. I, I don't even go in there. When when I'm at the comedy store, I'll stay outside and smoke weed with Joe Diaz until it's my time to go up, and then I just go up, and then I come back Get caught up in the soap and, uh, opera that I, is... I, I, don't, I don't at all, dude. I don't I don't get caught up. I, I'm not. You're never going to catch me on tape being in the back of the room watching somebody. No, yeah. Jack, because even the cross-pollination is so... I mean, there's such a finite... If you're doing this type of comedy that, that I do or like... Or like Norton does, where it's like topical driven, and then it's uh, wrong and controversial. Man, you can't be near anybody. I I don't. I don't go down. I haven't been here for three days. And I haven't gone to a comedy club yet. It's just yeah. it's just bad news, man. I just gotta have a few laughs. Yeah, <laughs> a few chuckles. Chuckle. I'm watch the comedians. I gotta watch a sketch group somewhere. Yeah, uh, it's a comedy made of a gun. Get out of here, improv check please. group. <laughs> check please. All right, Red Band. Anything else? Uh, no, nope, that's it. Uh, thanks. All right, there he goes, Red You're Band. Brilliant. Oh, stop with the freshness, Ralphie. I don't care who knows it. You're my favorite comic. Like right. when we did the virus tour. Remember when Carlos was on the show? We had Carlos on, and there was all this anticipation of Carlos being on the show because of Carlos being, you know, the fucking notorious thief and. Rogan and all that shit that oh, happened. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so Carlos was coming on the tour, and I remember on the, I was looking on the whack bag on your 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 the group, message group board, and yeah. they're all saying let's all. There was all these planned protests, like let's not. Can we? They were actually somebody was trying to see if they could organize just ev the entire stadium just walking out <laughs> silently. <laughs> Let me organize an entire <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. stadium. <laughs> and so, but so what was going to happen? So and oh, and God and bless your, him for your, trying. God bless him for trying. Though. Yeah, exactly. And then the somebody has a picture, and I. Think I think it was Lindsay, your, uh, your, your at the time fiance. I don't know if you guys are you're married now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So she had this picture of all the comedians at the curtain, like little boys at Christmas trying to peek. <laughs> Every comedian I'm trying to look through the curtain while, while Carlos is on the stage. Oh wow, that's <laughs> yeah, it's a great, and, oh, it's a great shot. Yeah, shot. and Carlos, something. nobody knew what was going to happen, and he went on. The first show was Detroit. I remember all this very clearly. And he went Detroit went on to a rain of uh, a, sh a light shower of booze. And he just fucking murdered, yeah, yeah. killed, I not only that. stamped out the booze, but did then another 40 minutes and, killed, and yeah. just destroyed. Same thing in New Jersey. But he fucking destroyed. But so Carlos and I flew together to L.A. after the show, and we just happened to sit right next to each other. And I don't know Carlos that well, but I know him. 
And uh, so I direct, asked him very directly about all that shit, about all the stealing and stuff. And he and I talked for a whole flight about it. And, it, you know, I now have a very complicated view. I'm not sure what the fuck happened. And it's very – it's not that he, like, weaseled his way. It's just that his view of it is complicated. It's mm-hmm. a na- He has a narrative. He has a story about what happened with all that stealing stuff and with Rogan and with Cosby and, and with everybody. I like just not And it's not just knowing. really interesting. I like not knowing and the it's com- individual story. And it's filthy story. and it's complicated and it's not so easy to point – if you just listen to a person. I look at the big picture. Yeah, you can't point at a person and go, you're that. just a fucking dirty – Thief, fucking Joe Rogan's awesome. You're a piece of shit. Fuck Dane Cook. You're all blah blah blah. He, it's just too easy. You, if you meet a person, talk for five minutes. You go, oh geez, I can't really say this. I gotta, anymore. I gotta accent sure that story thing. too because he was feeling that energy that the crowd was giving him, and everyone going, oh my god, Carlos is on this tour, and we just went like you said, went yeah. through the Rogan thing and all that. When he finished that set, it was a relief of energy. Yes. He, through that, I I think he does do the microphone throwing it down thing. Yeah, he does the thing where he jacks off the mic and spits over the top, right, so it right. looks like it's coming, and then he throws it on the but, floor, and it was beautiful. But it was there was a little it's more like a symphony. To, there was a little more to it. Than <laughs> oh yeah, that. he really like said, "Well, there you go, mother." Yeah, exactly. And as a comedian, I was so impressed. We all were yeah. that he overcame that, and just by being fucking good. And and on the flight home, I said that. What was that like? That was ballsy, and he goes, mm. "I was terrified." <laughs> and to that learn to find out adrenaline. that he was really scared, it wasn't because he was like, "Fuck everybody." He was like, "This is the only way through this because I might get booed and, it, and it's gonna suck." <laughs> he two, was scared. There's two people in the back going, "Come on, our silent pro, let's all leave." <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. on, guys. <laughs> we promised we were gonna. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable documentary about comedy. I am comic. I am comic. I haven't heard of that one. It's on Showtime. I, no, I, I just saw that. Why weren't you in that? I, I, I just nobody saw this we know, over the weekend. Nobody we know was in it. Was is in that the, what I saw with... Um, yeah. Help me out. Everybody was in it. Carlos Mencia. Uh, that's what, Carlos admitting he steals. I'm admitting, point out, fuck he you. He finally said, fuck it. Oh, he did? Fuck he it. He basically was like, you know how rappers take a little something to make it their own? That's right, bitches. I'm that's taking it. Do. Oh, finally. So he goes, if you see me coming, you better hide. I'm like... He's finally oh. admitting it. He said, "If you if you see me, if I come Something in while like you're on that. stage, if I like what you're doing, you I'm taking run. it. I'm at Mexican. Inf- I'm throwing Mexican in front of it, and it's Dude, mine." Didn't even hold back because they asked him. All wow. right, that's the that's what I saw. I guess he's so sick of it. He figured, let me just defuse this by admitting, "Yeah, so what? Now what? Now people still will go and see him in droves, and yeah, and, and I can't sell up my everyone. hometown. <laughs> I was bummed to." <laughs> I was fuck me. <laughs> yeah, you had Conan O'Brien next door, though. I followed you on Twitter. Oh, Bobby, that's mm. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> he's fucking admitting he's ripping shit off. He's fucking stealing. And he sells out <laughs> everywhere he goes. I swear to God, you have to be a cunt to become famous. I uh. am comic was good, but the the fucking one guy that put the whole thing together made it about himself. All of a sudden, I didn't like that at all. I actually, I'm getting too deep into this thing, but right. basically, this guy was, you know, he was he was he, he had a great documentary on being a road comic, and and he's talking to veterans, he's talking to guys that finally had to quit because they couldn't take it anymore. The new guys coming up, a lot of fucking people we've had on the show that Brian Regan, blah blah blah. Then all of a sudden, the guy because he's an old comic decides he needs to get back into it. And all of a sudden, the, his own documentary started becoming about him. I didn't like oh, that angle. Oh, wow. What's he doing there? I didn't like that angle. You know, no, he wasn't. No, the guy who did the documentary was at the beginning with the beard. I missed the first he, 10 minutes. Okay, you fucking missed it. That's the guy who did 10 the, minutes, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, he I went, just blew my fucking point. He out went of the to water. this guy, oh, to. Because he, he was the guy who was famous on TV and then said, fuck it, I'm done. Okay. And it became about him. Because the story, his backstory, and his now he's was kind of interesting. First time he, in 15 years he decided to hit the stage. Dude, he was famous back in the day. Yeah, I, re- I recognize Right? Him. And he said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I, he was on the road so much. He was like, I had my family in a storage unit. I was paying to fucking keep my family in storage. <laughs> I'd come home one day a week and then hit the road again just to pay the bills. He said, fuck it. I'm done because I'm never going to make it. And then... He got back into it through the. He he was only there to introduce this guy, making the documentary into the to the famous okay, people I he gotcha. all knew. Well, that angle I didn't like because there was way too much material to cover. 
I kind of they spent too much time on him trying to get back into it. I didn't. It was as a comic, I kind of liked it just because yeah. the fuck that's your fear is being that guy. Oh, yeah, your yeah. fear is being Rich. on a fucking boat. What was his name? Rich Carlton's helping me out. Uh, Schneid, S H Y D N E. The guy who. How do you say that? I'm to I don't know. It. Rich. See what it looks like. It was good. It was a really good documentary talking about the condos and shit oh. you guys have to stay at because the club owners ain't. They're sick of ho dealing with hotels, so they're like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna buy a cheap condo in the area." Oh yeah. And then yeah, they yeah. put the comics up. We've we've talked about this many times in the show. Huh. Now you guys have to like, sh you know, uh, be in a condo that some other creepy comic was in just last week. They Dude, barely cleaned the fucking place. In Cleveland, I got fucking condo aids. What's condo aids? Condo aids is when you fucking you're on stage shivering, sweating. Because the fucking, they don't change the sheets on the pillows and the fucking douche that was there before you had the fucking virus. And uh, I was sick all weekend in Cleveland. And you're convinced it was because of the condo. Dude, I showed up fine. And then I woke up with a fucking triantula on my face. Triantula? Tri triantula? Triantula. How do you say a that? Triantula? I can't say triantula. I don't or even want to tell you Hang on one second. Or philanthropist. <laughs> There's certain words I have a hard time with. And Marilyn. I can't say Maro. Did I say it? I got it. Oh, Mar thank you. Scheid Scheidner. Thank Scheidner. you, Carlton. Scheidner. I thought it was fucking sad, man. That guy, you understand, it's that guy it out. It's on Showtime. was touring the country, making a living doing comedy, okay. and now he can't get back on, he gets on stage, and it's like, what the fuck? It's yeah. crazy. I mean, the fucking, how depressing this business is, how fucked up it is, how, what a risk you're taking. And then there's people like, I steal, and I'm a millionaire? Fuck you. <laughs> and this guy's trying to come up with original shit, and he can't... Uh, fucking what? Yeah, I was bummed to see Carlos say that. Uh, Why? Because uh, Everyone knew it. It's, it's like, like, finally. Before Sandy gets in here, I saw a fucking documentary, I Am Comic. On, uh, yes! Uh, oh. I saw it! I thought it was one of the best... Um, Oh, really? Co uh, comic, com com comedy things, because it had a sidebar of Rich Shiner. Remember Rich Shiner? I was frustrated by that whole angle, that yeah, he I put like, himself in his, uh, into the documentary. No, like that, that. no, they put him in it, because yeah, he, I know, it finally, he knew everybody. Somebody explained it. And then he, but then he got, he started wanting to do it again. But mm. the thing is, the thing that got me is, uh, I mean, this is a, this is day late in a dollar show, but I, I really feel bad for uh, Joe Rogan. And, Carlos and Mencia. He put a foot, oh. Joe Rogan really... He, you know, and I know he probably anybody that says is like on his side or whatever, he probably go fuck you because he went through a lot of shit dealing with Carlos. But Carlos finally just admitted said, to everything. I fucking steal. Why can't we have that clip? We've talked about this two or three times on the show already. It, uh, he, he basically thanks. admits not, everything. No, not basically. He says, no, I, and, and I'm, his I'm being attitude, polite. his attitude was this: like, yeah, I fucking steal. If I'm in the back of the fucking room, you better watch your fucking material because yeah, I take yeah. it, remix it, and make it a hit. Just like, like a rap guy. I'll add Mexican and I'm going, to it. Well, that means somebody is owed royalties, and somebody, <laughs> you made a lot of money mm -hmm. off of these these people that you steal from. But he's justifying by saying if rap artists could take someone's like old they song and make it. it I, I understand, but that's, <laughs> that's basically what he was saying. If a rap guy could do that, I could do the same thing the, and make it my own. And the argument against Carlos would be that a joke is contingent upon catching you off guard. Music is not. Mm -hmm. Like, a joke has an effect the first time you... You know what I mean? It's, 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 oh, it's a different it thing. And could you please stop saying joke? This is the thing that kills me. Don't yell at I'm, me. I'm reading... Not you. <laughs> is that a good quality? Uh, back, in the, back in the day, okay, people stole jokes. It was like two Jews walked in the bar. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was yeah, meant yeah. to be told everybody. Carlos is taking fucking Material. your Other life's analogies, man. Yeah, because these are stories based on your life and... Yeah, you're a little twist on him, and then just like but you said, was, adding Mexican. He was to also it. in. He was also in it, saying. Hold on, why don't we just play the clip? Wait, 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 wait! I just want to say you need he, he we wasn't. Play the clip? It, yeah, th that he. It, this is not just the clip. He's that. He's in the whole thing, saying, "Here's what the fuck you supposed to be as a comic. If you ain't this as a comic, you ain't shit. If you ain't that as a." And then he says, "I steal," Damn. which nullifies. He doesn't have a position no. on comedy. It, 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 that means that uh, what's those cover bands mm -hmm. don't need to say they're cover bands. Yeah, they could just they say they're the go, band. Well, fuck you. I'm I'm Journey. I'm playing. I'm fucking Journey, nigga. I'm Mario Speedwagon. I'm fucking. Well, how about you just no? You have a different name. 
and you'd play all their songs and just say, and, yeah. And, and just say, what? I'm, I yeah. can't believe he did this. It's my song. Like he admitted it to it. It was <laughs> bad move, man. Well, the, the quality's not that great, but uh, this is what we got on the fly, at least. Let's play this. Carl uh, Mincy admits to stealing on this documentary. It's on Showtime, I believe. It's really, really well done. Hit it. Really get last rung out of it. A lot of people out there are going to ask, why did they interview Carlos about this team? Carlos is a joke thief. Carlos steals jokes, and we know this. And not, Listen to me, and look at me when I tell you this with all honesty. If you think that I steal jokes, fuck yeah, you're right. Of course I fucking steal jokes. Are you out of your fucking mind? When I come to a comedy club, you better run, bitch. You better get the fuck off stage. Because if anything you say is even remotely funny, I'm going to make it mine. And all I'm going to do is say Mexican in the front. I'm like a rapper. I just sample shit and make it my own. Was that really my song? I don't know, but it sounds like mine, but it kind of sounds like somebody else's. It's a bitch! Always that one. Is he being ironic? The only yeah, thing the I want to know is, did they edit him a certain way? I'm, I'm not saying he's right, but was he saying, oh, yeah, is that what you want to hear? Did I steal? Like, Sarcasm? No. I'm not saying it was, but it, you, you never know how they edit well, that shit. That yeah, sounded really yeah. bizarre. It does sound bizarre. To, to admit how, it like that What is he saying top? about that? Because this, uh, this documentary is everywhere. People are watching this fucking thing. He doesn't look good. Uh, that pisses a lot of people off, especially oh, in your well, business. Yeah. Just about everybody in your business. Because it makes, it makes up-and-coming comics, they see Carlos, he's winning. He, right. He, he has money, right. he yeah. shows, fame. Multi-millionaire, man. And if you're in it for that, then mm -hmm. you come in and go, why would I ever work hard to own my own material? Why would yeah. I suffer? He when just, you ju could just, he just justified that. it for all the young guys coming up. So now you got a young guy coming up, he, he could just try to do Patrice's stuff. I'm just going to steal Norton stuff. I'm just going to steal, which people right. do. We people steal, but, but it's it was like, always one of those things like you don't want to be caught stealing and right. But everybody now everybody does but, it. Like no, but now he's saying, it. "Hey, it's okay. Look, look what it did for me." He, and and that's what I'm saying. It it destroys. That's really bad. Man. Everything and I and I and I and you know he's a the Carlos is a likable guy, man. I I like Carlos. I see him. You, you he's not a yeah. guy. He's one of those guys you can't hate. So it's like, but he really it, he has no stance. On anything else in comedy, he can't say, "Here's my philosophy." Right. When you're a thief, right? Like you're justifying stealing. On there's nothing on any level. But the the, the the bad part is, Rogan was on this, and and you know they they ended up pushing him out away like he was a, a nutbag for going this hard. I wouldn't go that hard because there is no justice because <laughs> yeah. he's gonna still win. My thing is, who I'm mad at, not at the business. I'm mad at any person after he after he goes, yeah, I fucking steal. You better watch out and this and that. That go see him. Yeah, that's gonna go but, see him. Are now, there right, fans right? that right, hold do on, that? Hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. Happy butt, Jesus, from Ann Arbor. Carlos Ned had a meltdown on Twitter after this came out. Google it. So maybe maybe there's more info Go to this Google whole thing. It. Google it. Google it. Yeah, why well, uh, uh, they take him out of context? Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, man, but we should be seeing the Carlos and see a uh, media storm. Yeah, yeah, of, he would should be dude, out there that's going. Not what Look, I did. They fucked me on this, right? He did. That's Carlos' style. He, he he and but you see how he set it up as if it was a joke. Mm -hmm. It was. It was. I, I can't believe it was out of context. But if it was, it was because it, it's possible. But uh -huh. he just was. He's like. Well, uh, then someone fucked him. I, I want to know if there's more info on this whole thing. Because then someone fucked him bad. I, I didn't see any editing in that. Though. No, I did not. I didn't see editing on But I'm seeing what, what, what Norton's saying is like maybe he yeah. could have been like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm a fucking thief. But that right was. at the beginning of the conversation yeah. that could have like came sarcasm, in after like, something was said, right? Like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me. What do people want Carlos to say? Hey, and then all of a sudden. And I'm not saying that he well, doesn't steal, but well, that's a dirty cut if that's what it if is. If he did that, he blew it because no yes. one is, uh, is buying. You're right. That's how he meant no. it at all. So maybe well, that's why backfired. he had the meltdown on Twitter. Maybe it did backfire on him. I don't know. I remember, yeah, when I saw that, too, I was like, that is really fucking weird. The documentary <laughs> in general was great, though, huh? I enjoyed it. I, I thought it... It's a sad life you guys it, have. I, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a sad life. That's what I got out of it. The, the, one, life. the one that got to me... Sad. Uh, Dana Gould, the one that, like, got, where he goes, man, I was, in the, I was doing three shows. I was in the first ten minutes... Of the first of three hours that I had to do, meaning the first show at the first 10 minutes, and I had to do two more shows after that, 
that evening, and I said, what the fuck <laughs> am I doing? What am I doing? And I felt that minute where I'm like, hey, and I went, holy. Dead. And the crowd's not really loving me oh. automatically. It's not just, okay, it's like I got to work, and I just go, Oh my God! Wait, what was what? it? He was having a bad show. No, he's just. Oh, there, there was a segment of of quitting. Oh, like oh. of guys. Like one, another guy was like, I get on stage. I, I, just, some guy you never heard of, but he goes, I, I'm Tim Allen's friend. I'm talking to Tim Allen. I'm talking to this guy. Then I get on stage, and a guy got his foot on the stage, and he's half holding his girl's titty and looking at me like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you doing?" It, it, it was a, it was a good goddamn documentary. It was well it was one done. Of, yeah, it was one of the best ones. Of, yeah, like, the guys the explained one. why they got out of it. it was it was it, that was a sad moment. Like then, you go, "Fuck balls!" I felt like. And that then before. the people explaining the comedy condo, where you guys, I'm sure you did. You ever stay in the condos? Very early. Yeah, well, I, 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 yeah. I got lucky being in New York. Where well, you got to like, explain mm -hmm. that though. The the uh, comedy owners, instead of putting you guys up in hotels, they're like, you know what? I'm just going to buy, gonna buy a, a, a local condo mm -hmm. and just put the comics uh, up in this condo. And it's I just did it a in shithole. Arizona. The last condo I stayed in Arizona, 1999. It was just like it's a it's like they a don't hotel. take care of it. It's just a it's just a mess, and they, and and it's you know it's disrespect. Instead of putting you in a nice hotel where you can fucking <laughs> order room service, you're stuck in the middle of a highway. And this shit, and somebody picks you up, you you know, unless you rent a car. But it's, you know, people will go, ah, shut the fuck up, comics. But yeah. <laughs> it, you, you fucking do it. You know what I mean? It's like that 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 part on quitting. And then Rich Seidner made a decision to come back and just to see what he was going through as an open micer that no one knew because he's been done for 12 years. And I'm going to tell you, show business keeps you looking much better than you should. <laughs> Tim Allen, who started at the same time, shined it comes and he's looking relevant snazzy shirt mm -hmm. looking young looking delicious a little dye a little dye yeah, in his hair shiner's looking like got just, the glasses oh he's little looking little designer old. action yeah man yep. and it's it's like stay in show business <laughs> <laughs> don't just quit stay in the business just, there's something about it that keeps you fucking keeps you looking young yeah it keeps you looking I'm looking young. <laughs> somehow <laughs> shit. i'm telling you man his stuff on stage was rough too but I mean, he was just starting his comeback. And he was a monster. He Simon. was. I, yeah. I, I vaguely remember him seeing his face. HBO specials back when those no were kidding. big time. Yeah, man, he was Damn. bad dude. And why did he quit? <clears throat> I forgot what they said. It's, uh, Cause he was like, he's like, look, it's like I'm paying for, I'm paying to keep my family in storage. Like I'm, like I'm paying for storage, really. The family don't see me. Store your family. Yeah, it's just that makes sense too. You just you get home on on a on a Monday and you leave on a Tuesday. Like back when people did Tuesday through. Oof. You know they you did went three shows on Saturday. Two. Yeah. Yeah. So just, you're just paying. You're making money so you can pay to keep them eating and and a roof over their head that you'll never share dinner with or live in the house. That <laughs> yeah, does seem a little odd. And he said something else. You either two kind of comics. One that goes to the people, or one that the people goes to them. <laughs> yeah, and, and that hurts. Mm. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. How come that hurts? You're, you're, because you're... I'm, because going to the people means you got to go where the gig is. Right. When people come to you, you go to the gig, and the people come oh. see you. <laughs> do they mean that, or do they mean attitude wise? Oh, uh, they don't mean like the way you perform. It means like. I got to do a cruise ship. That means I got to go mm -hmm. to the people. To the people. Okay. <laughs> You're going to the people. Oh, you mean success level. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh. yeah. We might have, <laughs> we might have more info on this. Jay in Staten Island. Jay. Hey, happy birthday, Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, listen, Mark Marin did uh, over two hours of podcasts on this whole thing. Episode 75 and 76. Can I slow you down for a sec? Did they uh, specifically talk about this documentary that Patrice is mentioning? Specifically. And okay. And he, he uh, spoke to Carlos Mencia for over an hour. Then he talked to the guys that worked with Carlos. Then he went back to Carlos. I started off hating Carlos, then I loved him, then I hate him again. Now he's just a douche. <laughs> well, what did he say about this documentary? Was he being serious, sarcastic? Was it, what, Did he uh, get edited badly? What happened? No, I mean, he basically admitted to Mark that, yeah, he stole, um, that, yeah, it was just, you know, one of those situations that guys that worked for him, he figured that, you know, because they worked for him, it was his material. He's oh. just a really kind of a douchey thing to do. Yeah. And you, you do feel bad for the guy, but to, to listen to Mark's take was very interesting because, I mean, obviously Mark knows a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> you know, but, uh, uh, hey, Patrice. Patrice. Uh, yeah. I loved you on Arrested Development. Oh, thanks, Best bro. Best character ever, man, for real. 
I, I yeah, like you on that too. Like that. Yeah. Listen, um, I, I, I know it's two hours of, of uh, you know listening to, to Mark talk to these guys, but they have really good stories and really good insight. And you do come come away knowing the whole story. And I agree with Patrice though, because Carlos is a likable guy. Like that's. Like, we, we flew together. I forget where I was. We were on the same plane together, and we were just kind of walking a baggage claim together. And it's like he was talking about stealing on something. He said something about a Cosby bit. And he's like, I did it, and then someone said the Cosby. He just started talking about it. Yeah, but yeah, he's he like, said he never stole right, the talk. Cosby bit. All right, now you but, talk. Sorry, you would all right, Jay. That's all right. I just talked to him. Right, Jay. <laughs> I, just teased him. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Ernest Eager. <laughs> all right, Jay. Thank you. Let Jim Norton finish. Okay, what happened? No, I, I don't know when this was filmed, but he said something about a Cosby bit. And he goes, and I did it. Maybe he didn't say so. Maybe he said somebody told him about it. He might have said that. I don't want to misquote the guy. And he said, uh, and I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I did it. He was, he was like making, like saying, like he, he didn't did know it. at the time. I, that's what he was saying okay. to me. It's an all-time Cosby bit. I, look at, I let it go because people have thoughts that are similar, but it's an all-timer. It's 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 from his which Cosby bit. <laughs> it's it's the one where he essentially. What? Oh, sorry, sweetie. It's the one where he is. Oh, you look uncomfortable. Trying Not to help you out. I didn't want to have oh, okay. pickle juice all over. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm starving, man. It was essentially, essentially, uh, it, the the bit was how fathers get no respect, and he teaches his son from the time he's born to the time he's like fucking able to walk, how to play football, and how to lift weights, and how to do boom, boom, boom. And he's just doing his whole thing. And Cosby's building up to this crescendo of. He scores a touchdown in front of eight hundred thousand people at oh, a fucking thanks, stadium. Mom. Yeah, yeah. And then, then he just I love goes, you, mom. "I love you, mom." Right. Or, 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 or hi, mom, or whatever. Yeah. Carlos took it, remixed Are you it, and me? made a hit. That, that, that is uh, such a staple. That's a Cosby bit. It's a Cosby bit. Like everyone knows that. So one. you would have to know that bit. But it's like it's like look, I could have looked by. I'm gonna tell you something. I, I he I was in awe of Carlos at, at when we did the Baltimore. Uh, uh, virus tour, mm -hmm. and Baltimore. they were booing him. Jersey, uh, it was Jersey. Uh, uh, no, yeah. no, that was Baltimore. That was Virginia. It, I know, I know it was because we was we was I we was. I we did went. a radio with um the sports guys. Oh, okay, okay. And and um, and look at this guy. Yeah, and like... Carlos is a nice. guy. I don't dislike him as a person. I wish he didn't do this so I could just you know. But he they come out and they were booing him. It was a. A lot of people booing him. Yeah. And yeah. enough where I said, oh, damn, he's going to get he's off gonna stage. He's going to be ugly, right? He turned that shit around. Like, I like I mean, I've never even seen no shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Where they hated him off the bat. And they yep. tried to hate him, and he beat their hatred with him. So, as a, I, but after he goes, I steal with this pride, and you better watch out because I'm going to take it. It just, he becomes... He's a vaudeville guy. He's not. Uh, I'm gonna want to know. Uh, he's this. not a soldier. Like like people like Rogan is. A, Rogan has never been accused of stealing. No. Nope. Ever. No. Nope. And not and not because he'll punch you in the mouth. Rogan <laughs> is a deep dude. Well. I talked to Rogan. He's a fucking. He got magical tattoo. Rogan is a. <laughs> yeah, we know. We all know. Fucking tattoo. floating. We he probably know. floats and shit and okay. leaves his body and all kind of shit. <laughs> he actually does float. He's got one of those tanks. <laughs> yeah, he does. Rogan yeah. is the real deal when he's talking about his shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, well, no, let me amend one thing you're you saying. Know, I'm just saying, dude. Rogan is a drug addict. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but he makes it sound so cool. But, but, that's, but do you know that's, that's I, I it's just yeah. <laughs> and, and no one usually the one thing about comics, even though they we hate each other, comics will rarely like lie and say mm -hmm. you are hack or you're a thief. Right, right. And you're not. They might go, nah, it just ain't as but. It's been going on so long, and Rogan took a L a little bit for it. Uh, no one else stood up, but that's yeah. the way. That's the way the business is. It's like I would never martyr myself to stop Carlos. <laughs> I just look at now Carlos like you have. Like they kept interviewing him during the during the thing, and it's like you know what? You don't have any more uh, theories. You know, after you rob a bank. I don't want to hear your theories on hard work and success. <laughs> like, here's how you make it. Unless you, unless he breaks, unless you rob a bank, go to prison, come out, work from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. If he, if he just did that again, but it would take ten to twenty years. Let me ask you this now. Uh, this is the sad part of the whole thing. Doesn't Carlos Mencia have a shitload of original material? I don't know. 
We he's, don't know. He's, he's an Iran Iranian. These well, are all things well, that well, I don't well, give a fuck about until well, you just say I right. steal. Well, what's your thought on that? He's a he's. I don't know. Do you think most of his stuff is stolen from other comics that came before him and he made it his put it, own? Put it this or way. Or do you think he has a lot of original material and unfortunately with the stealing shit now everyone thinks he he just steals all jokes. Let's let's why. Okay, here's original material. Like what I'm trying to say is he just never needed to steal. Here's original material. I'm I'm Carlos Mencia. I talk like a Mexican. But I'm I'm from I'm Iraqi <laughs> or whatever he is. That's original. That because you know something about him. Like he said, he he said his act. I Mexicans. I yeah. mean, play his act. There's nothing about it. Like I'll talk about having diabetes. That's not. You don't find out that I'm fucking completely healthy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't find it out. You don't go, this fucking cocksucker stole my disease. There's too many people He's just that have not, said this. There's too many comics that have said that he steals for you to just go, well, it's just a bunch of comics saying it. Like, if it was one comic, you might think someone had an axe to grind or something, but Jesus Christ, it's been it's, forever. It's, it's, and now he admits it, man. It's just. Now admitting it like that. And if there's woof. no backlash, and I'm not trying to ride, get. But if there's no backlash from people. That means it's like I'm performing in front of mm -hmm. <laughs> like maybe some people that would that I go, why don't I just steal? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck don't I just steal material that's proof just like rappers and I don't condone that yeah. shit. But just like them, I go, look, I'm gonna pay some young guy who's been in the business six months, does has a great premise. I've seen it all the time. Great premise, doesn't have the skills. To make that shit funny. I've, I've been there. There's times when I started where I go, man, I got this great bit, you know, in my mind, but it's just not going to execute because I'm not good enough to mm. skillfully do it. And so why don't I just give this guy a hundred bucks who needs it? That's his first comedy dollar. Let me take that bit because I see the magic in it and don't give him a dime. At least Carlos could say I pay these guys. Their royalty fee. Yeah. Something. That's yep. what rappers do. They go, look, they don't just go, man, I was sitting in the back of the room and watched James Brown <laughs> and said, this old fool motherfucker, I'm going to make me a song. They got to pay that nigga money, man. Well, I, and it's a state. But that's, uh, they don't have a choice in that. Thank you. They don't have a choice in that. It's set up that way. And if you can like prove... Like fucking uh, Jay-Z doing Forever Young drives me insane because I remember the original song. But he has to pay. And he has I, to pay. I, I think it was Alphaville. So whoever owns the rights to that band, Alphaville, is getting paid because Jay-Z Jay decided to make it his own. This might be precedent because he admit this. I've never heard anyone go, I steal comedy. <laughs> he, this is possible. My bad for the get business. a couple of dollars some, wow. to, to, to fix that. But, but, but we got to make it clear... That that's why no one's ever gotten fucking sued before. Cause, yeah. Because we have similar. See, a song is copywritten. I can't copyright right. my fucking jokes and say An I, no one else could have this thought because yeah. that's why. I'm, like when I start off, I watch if if there's a feature in front of me, I watch the whole show. The first night, I have to watch the whole show to see what this guy does. Mm -hmm. After he does it, then I show him what I do. I go, and he might say some shit that I go, fuck. I never go, hey, I'm going to outrank your, your comedy because I, I, I do a bit like that. I'm going to outrank your comedy because I feel like I've written enough. So I go, okay, you do that. Okay, this guy does that. Now let me show him what I do. And we all know we're not going to step on each other's toes. Uh -huh. Sometimes there's middles that want to show me that they got a bit like that too. I just want to show you. It's like, didn't you see what the fuck I do? <laughs> I don't give a fuck that you have a bit like that and you want to show me that you're genius, you fucking dickhead. I'm telling you, I watched you to go, that, I'm not going to step on, because I could have showed you. Right. And do it better, you fucking middle. <laughs> you guys got to work together to make the show that, real good. But that's what I'm saying. It, there's respect that you want to have in this game. And Carlos just said, "Fuck the game." And 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 just to and he's winning. Well, to simplify, it's really bad for you guys because now young guys are going to think it's okay. Well, don't and forget, a lot of young guys were really scared to go down that road. He's been humiliated by this. This is a weird. That's what he, what you saw him doing there. It's almost I was like, like, what are you doing? If you dude? get caught Jesus. cheating and you just go, "Yes, I cheated," it, it's it's such an admission. Of defeat, it's empowering something that is just. Mm. There's nothing worse for a comedian because Carlos doesn't need the money. Carlos is a fucking millionaire, mm -hmm. yeah. and when you're on that level, you want a certain amount of respect. And with a singer, you're right. Patrice, they copyright songs, but when you play a James Brown clip, then that, that, and that, 
Everybody knows that's James Brown. Nobody thinks that's your song. Everybody knows you're playing a James Brown right. clip. It's not like not that only does everyone know it's James Brown, James Brown's getting a little taste. Right. Or the people that own the James Brown thing now. Which which makes me say sampling James Brown, sampling Elvis is all that shit, whatever you want to sample. To sample, that's why I think people who are who are into hating uh Led Zeppelin, Led Led, Led Zeppelin yeah. for what they did. Yeah. Are like you stealing from nobodies and you're becoming Famous like Carlos, it goes in the back of the room. He doesn't look at Tim Allen and go, you know what? I'm going to steal Tim Allen's grunt. Mm -hmm. Some new kid. He's still up. some young kid who needs that fucking joke. That could have been, right. that been the joke. That could have been the joke. That could have been the joke that got him on, you know, Leno or Kimmel After or something. been doing you know? it for 20 years. If you can make up, I mean, this is. I have some some buddies, man, that I found out was tasting some jokes, man. <laughs> tasting. And some I had to jokes. fucking talk to him because I go, look, man. You have to learn how to have people not laugh. That's the key to creating yes. jokes. You got to fucking toughen up and bomb, you douche. <laughs> Carlos is a killing machine. He doesn't know how to bomb. So he's never going to go, I'm going to sit in a lab and make experiments and go, oh, that's, that was awful. <laughs> that he's not going to do that. He's super arrogant. He's wow, that's a great he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a He kills. He he doesn't. It's not like he's gonna work things out, man. And, and he, try something that might fall on its ass, and, right? And, and that's what you have to do to be a, a writer, man. Mm -hmm. You see, Colin Colin has a new hour every second. Louis C.K. has a new hour every year. Yep. Because he bombs where he goes. Louis <laughs> takes an L, but he's good enough to go. Hey, I'm doing an hour. I'm gonna fucking bomb for a half, and I'm not gonna bomb for a half. I'm going to kill for 10, yeah, yeah. bomb for 10, kill for 10, <laughs> bomb for 10. But then he knows he's got that 10, and, and, he, he, and, he, he, and he builds from there. You he never heard Louis C.K. steals jokes. You right. never mm, heard that, fucking ever. Nope. nope. All right, listen, uh, Sam Bozer in front of everybody. Oh, we'll take come a quick on. break. Oh, God. <laughs> Sandy Kane is dressed and ready to come in here with the, <laughs> the other oh, naked God, cowgirl. I got to eat fast, then. So we're gonna, we'll oh, that's what you was talking about. I thought you was insulting me for my story. What, the Sambo thing? I don't know. Is that white people sandwiches? Yes, yeah. sandwiches. That's that's. I'm sorry. Uh, I know. Somebody learned about white people also. Mm, I'm what? sorry. I what? just learned it. I just say sambos. You know, I've always said sambos. <clears throat> black people don't like to say AIDS. I don't know if you if you don't know that about black people. We mm. just won't say the word AIDS. It's it's oh you know, man, he might have the monster. High five, um, the ninja. The yeah, ninja, the ninja yeah. fucking package. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know suicide was so tight with white people that mm. you, you don't call it suicide. You call it checking out. Did not know that. Didn't mm. know suicide was such a That's, thing where it's like white people don't. They, I'm not I saying white it's people suicide. Say suicide. Yeah, they say mm. checking out. Yeah. Checking out. Didn't know that. All Any right. show that puts me on it says suicide because that's what they're committing. <laughs> <laughs> Hell here I am. Cash in I don't in know the why chips. you call me a Sambo. Just no, I didn't call. It's, I, I, I'm sorry. I've been saying Sambos forever. Oh, for it's Sam a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been bad. saying that forever. I don't know. Well, uh, let me drink a glass of cracker. Can I have some? <laughs> I want some fucking Crystal Light during oh, the break. You're, you're giving up some of that Crystal Light because my water's a, tasting bad. I call it blue-eyed devil juice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who wrote the best horse joke. It was a writer. It was in a magazine. Obviously, I'm quoting this. Yeah. Uh, uh, who read it to you? I'm, I'm misquoting. I'm misquoting this. <laughs> let me misquote. Listen, listen and this. I misquote. A horse walks into the bar, and the bartender says, "Why such a long face?" And the horse says, "I just found out I have AIDS." <laughs> That's a good joke. That's pretty funny. That's a damn good joke. <laughs> that is good. I don't know who wrote it. Some writer. <laughs> I think Carlos Mencia. <laughs> oh no! Of course, we all know he wrote nothing. <laughs> how how is that going with the uh, comics? You heard about that, Colin, right? What happened now? That Carlos Mencia uh, pretty much admitted that he steals oh, in that movie? material. Yeah, I saw the movie. What do you think? Yeah, and it was a spoof that he was saying that in the you movie. You think he was being sarcastic? He was being sarcastic because he's yeah. been accused so many times that he figured he'd just go, "Yeah, yeah I steal yeah. everything." Yeah, yeah, yeah I, being, I yes. said that in a scene I saw that. Probably edited yeah. that kind yeah. of shitty. Mm. All right, just wanted to get. Did you see the movie? What movie? I am comic. Mm. Oh, I said it was on movie. Showtime. I haven't seen it, but how, how would you not see that? You are comic. We were in it. We got, we got <laughs> fucking edited out. Did Who's you? Us? Uh, me and the skirt, Bonnie. Were, uh, you weren't skirt? in it. No, you got edited out. She happened to be a fucking victim of it because she was. <laughs> they couldn't cut around you. That's it. Or no, we did do it together. We're not fucking just Stiller and Mira. Oh, Stiller. Yeah, I and John <laughs> Hutt or something like that. Her autobiography is going to be called. <laughs> her autobiography is going to be called. I was collateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? 
<laughs> you got the clip. She uh, looks. Yes. She watches. I guarantee she watches like Pat Oswalt and go. He wanted to fuck me. I could have married this little worm in two minutes. This other nerd <laughs> came out. All these like big like elite little stars. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear the uh, the Carlos Mencia clip and uh, get Colin's opinion on this one. If you think this is it? being the taken, show it to him. Uh, fuck's seeing it. You just got to hear him. Exactly. I have a hard, have a hard time tell, telling when Guatemalans are being sarcastic. <laughs> 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 Let's uh, listen to a little uh, Carlos Mencia. A lot of people out there are going to ask, why did they interview Carlos about this? You know, Carlos is a joke thief. Carlos steals jokes, and we know this. And I, I, listen to me, and look at me when I tell you this with all honesty. If you think that I steal jokes, fuck yeah, you're right. Of course I fucking steal jokes. Are you out of your fucking mind? When I come to a comedy club, you better run, bitch. You better get the fuck off stage. Because if anything you say is even remotely funny, I'm going to make it mine. And all I'm going to do is say Mexican in the front. I'm like a rapper. I just sample shit and make it my own. Was that really my song? I don't know, but it sounds like mine, but it kind of sounds like somebody else's. It's a hit, bitch! Wow. Now, you could say that's sarcasm, but <laughs> you could also say it's a little too detailed for just sarcasm. Like, he's thought that, he's thought about that. The was that Carlos? the club? Was yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> was that right. Carlos or Jay Moore? Who was that? Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Rich. <laughs> oh, Chip. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chippy. Uh, you know, I saw the the thing. Yeah, but how well he's trying to turn it around and make it look like you know it's bullshit. I don't steal. But it's so it's much. Like, it doesn't like, come off like that. No, yeah. it comes off like it's very like he's thought about this. Right. It's detailed. Like yeah, I, I steal material. Fuck you. It's like a guy going. It's like a serial killer going. Yeah, you know, I mean, people tell us that I walk into a house, the family's asleep. Yeah, I exactly. walk up the carpeted steps. <laughs> I pull out the knife. I slowly run it across their throats. Yeah, it's just, it's a little too detailed <laughs> you have to be just sarcasm. Then, That's right. Then Truman Capote interviews me. It's like Manhunter. Very good. You Why do you up? have to try to sound it. smart? That was smart. <laughs> All right. It was quite smart. Truman Manhunter. Capote. Uh... I'll have the Truman compote. <laughs> don't, don't, you can't mess it up. When I come up with something clever, it's just accepted. That wasn't clever. <laughs> what happened to you? Clever. Did you guys it bail was, on the contest? I know. I'm, I'm hoping was, time ticks by and we go, oh, we're out of time. It was, it was. It wasn't clever. It was just so arbitrary that we didn't know what to do. <laughs> didn't know what to do with it. Just hung there. Can you please open your eyes and see yourself failing? <laughs> <laughs> I told Fuck you. him or fight him. <laughs> I, I told you I got one more comeback. <laughs> yeah. You got one more, right? Got What's it. going on with you and Rogan? Because I follow you on Twitter. and you, Nothing. I asked you're Jason guy. Rogan and he, he hasn't accepted yet? The first time I asked him to come on, he didn't want to because you know, I'd done that in the two episodes with Mencia. And he didn't want to. Because like, I didn't. I didn't realize, like, because I wanted to get him to come on the show, and I didn't care if he talked about Mencia, but I didn't realize that that, that video, really, of, of him calling out Mencia, is really their wedding video. <laughs> in the sense that, you know, he's, he's going to be... He's gonna Married be, to him, right? Right. Ever, yeah. Right. Mm. So, he, so I understood it. I said, all right, well, we don't have to talk about that. Maybe another time we'll wait it out. And then I emailed him again to come on the podcast, and he just didn't even email me back. So someone on Twitter said, you know, why don't you have Rogan? I just wanted to make it clear that like, I've, you know, I have an open invitation to Rogan. Right. That, that's all. There's no problem Do with him. Do you change your opinions on some of these guys after you talk to them? Yeah, I changed... Like, well, did I, you change your opinion on uh, uh, Mencia? No, I, I didn't. My opinion was just that, you know, initially I didn't know how deep the weirdness and, and, and the crime of stealing was. So I, what happened with those episodes is I did a whole episode and I felt like he was bullshitting me. And I didn't know what the fuck mm. to do with the episode because I already told people I'd done it and I was in trouble because I got this big, you know, bunch of bullshit. So then I started talking to some other comics and, and Madrigal said, you know, talk to some of the Latino guys. So I talked to these two Latino comics, Willie Barcena and, uh, and uh, oh, what's the other guy's name? The the Trevino, Steve Trevino, who opened for Mencia about some of the allegations and stuff. And and then I called Mencia back and I said, look, you know, we got to we I got to do some follow up because you know I'm not happy with you know how you handled the you know the stealing issue and all this other stuff. And he literally said, I said we could do it on the phone because I, <laughs> I was trying to be non confrontational, <laughs> yeah, right? And then he goes, I'll be right over. Oh, good for you for calling him, at least. Yes, but then he came back, and he did like an hour, and it was like this weird, like he, he couldn't quite keep his story together, and he couldn't, like, you know, he was unraveling a little bit. And it oh, was, shit. It, it was pretty wild. And, uh, and so my opinion of him 
if anything, I was like, you know, this is a the guy's a troubled guy. You know, it, you know, more than anything else. I'm not saying he's any better a person or a comedian. The, it's it's like the when you're the wizard. And the fucking curtain is coming down, and you just get, you're holding it up with one hand in front of your face. There's a certain humiliation with it. I'm not saying right. That's right. And, and it's like, as a guy, wow. I like to do like I I took a flight with him recently. We happened to be on the same plane together, going to Dallas or whatever. And it was like he's a pleasant guy. It's like you you want to like Carlos, and it's but like he's a nice guy to talk to. So there's he's, something he's a nice dude. There's something wrong with the wiring. And I had Dane on, you know, and I, I have people on that I wouldn't like. I, with Dane, I didn't. I was never one a, a real hater of Dane, or never. I and I never registered him one way or the other. I just never found him, you know, that interesting as a comedian. And I, I judged him as more of an indication of of something horrible with society as opposed to being a bad comic. <laughs> oh, but fuck. but I. Uh, <laughs> oh man. But like he wanted to come on, you know, and and, and I in in the. The thing that happens when I interview these guys is all the haters now have an opportunity to see them as people, to hear them as, as, as right. not like, you know, that fucker Mencia or fucking Dane Cook. Now it's a guy talking for an hour like a human being, and you can judge them. If you want to hate, then fine. Now you know him as a person. And I literally was with Dana. I was like, I was like, why do people hate you so much? I, I didn't know really what to talk to him about. But he probably wants to answer that. I he mean, did. He's very prepared. It's really, yeah. <laughs> He's very focused. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that scene in... Uh, in Frost Nixon, there's a great scene where the guy is like, Nixon's a criminal, I never want to shake his hand. And then Nixon walks in, and he goes, hi, I'm Richard Nixon. And the yeah, guy's yeah. like, oh, hi. Oh, Nixon yeah, puts yeah, his hand yeah, up. Yeah, right. yeah. It's like whenever a hater normally is, again, especially when it's something like a comic, it's they, the people that normally are very... Like, mm -hmm. but they're just things that they, pleasantly. They're singular. They're not multi-dimensioned to people when they're they're hating out because they're part of a group that hates people because that guy represents something. When it's a person, it's very hard unless you're an, an asshole. Right. To mm -hmm. can you hate? It was so funny though because I, you know, you hooked me up with Dane. That was nice of you. And I, the weird thing was is when he wanted to do the show, he called me out of nowhere in San Francisco. I'm walking down the street and I go hello, and he goes Mark, it's Dane Cook. And I'm like, holy shit, you have this energy on the phone too? Are you, like, are you at home pacing around? What's going on? When are we going to do the show? <laughs> very intense fellow, that guy. Isn't he? Coming from you. No, he's very, yeah, he's, he's very focused. I tried to get under his skin a little bit, but it didn't really work. No. And people ended up liking him more. He's so used to it. Huh? God, he is? You, you used love coming at this Dude, point. his brother stole million. It's like Jesus after something Christ. awful like that happened, it's That's like, eh, what, what's going to phase you after your fucking stepbrother, whatever the fuck that but was? But he's, he's got like the, uh, the, the, the Teflon, he's got the disposition of a politician. You know, like he's like, you know, he's very clear about, you know, how far he's going to go with the conversation. You know, he's very deliberate. You know, when I, when I brought up one thing out of that, that kind of threw him a little bit. The, the weird thing was he was not that funny about it. He, oh you know, shit! He, like his first response was not to make a joke. It was like uh, that was between me and that person. Yeah, Straight like, interview. Oh yeah, no, yeah. yeah. It was a little no, intense. No fun. Yeah, <laughs> I'm guessing <laughs> Louis C.K. Then. <laughs> no, this was about okay. Steve Byrne actually. And he opens his fucking yeah. mouth. He opened his mouth about fucking Carlos. It's like you. It's dangerous to be a guy that opens your fucking mouth. In this game, why can't you keep your mouth shut? Bob? No, that's not that's not that's that's unfair. Are First gonna, of all, he's gonna put the, the car. No, 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 I can hold a blowgun. Are you going to give me a life lesson? Oh, yeah. That's okay. Life lessons. Life lessons. Yes. Yes. With one hand while there's fingers I'm, in the I'm, ass. I'm going to tell you what the reality is. I'm going to tell you the reality. I know you saw it. I know you saw it. I'm going to tell you the reality of that situation, though, okay? Wow. There was a time when Joe Rogan was there every night, and he had this other guy from Red Band. It's an internet guy filming everywhere, right? He was filming every yeah. time, right? Because the podcast. So right? I didn't even see Yeah, I didn't see him filming. So... So Joe comes up, he says it, and I'm just nonchalantly, like I would say anything it to Joe. It was some Mel Gibson yeah, shit. Yeah, some Mel Gibson stuff, right? <laughs> and that was back when I was using, too. I was drinking. This is uh -huh. That was a long time ago. That was footage from a, from a very long time ago. So I feel like I was screwed now. Uh, with Mencia and Rogan, we're all cool. You know what I mean? But that was an awful time. Are Mencia and Ro are Rogan cool? No. Mm. Oh, I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> no, no, never. No, no, never. <laughs> Never, yeah, ever. They're gonna kill well, him. I don't think that Joe would want it either. I don't think he'd want it. No, 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 no. It's a date. No. I feel uh, bad for Mencia now, man. Really? Yeah. I just feel bad. He's, you know, he's a, he's a friend, you know what I mean? Well, it, it kind of all came out and got very ugly for him, and... Uh, then what happened? How did he handle it? I haven't, I've seen. I, I saw him on a plane, but I think. Men, I think. I think Comedy Central, d d because of all the letters and stuff, and because of that fiasco, ultimately made a decision to let his the show go. And I think that. Um, 
I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I don't want to get into if he steals or not steals. He said he did. Well, he's, he's admitted it. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I'm still not gonna get into it because I was. I, I almost had the Mexican Bobby. mafia. Bobby I almost had the Mexican he mafia. Want, he just wants to be. <laughs> he wants to he desperately wants to be a nice guy. But, but you missed yeah, what he said. I, yeah, you but missed what he said. There is a Mencia mafia. What do you mean? I've uh, seen it. Yeah, really? Mencia mafia. Yeah, he's got a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, cousins and stuff. Yeah, yeah. With tattoos, when you, when the tattoos on the neck, oh, I, I don't. I'm fucking. I'm screw with that. I'm screw with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. He has. Yeah. A, he has. Pe but but are you saying who he is or Mexicans? No. Five people that love him. Well, well, that's he's not a, a Mexican. What? He's a fucking. He's a. He's like some type of fucking Iranian. No, or something. no, no, no. He's no. Iranian. <laughs> Here's the story, dude. He's ha he grew up in Honduras because I went to his village. You yeah. know, I went to the Mencia village. No electricity, no running water. His dad was German, right? Had sex with a Honduran lady, right? L took off. So he's German and, you and Honduran. Oh, wow. As you're telling his whole family's fuck story.